Yeah. All right, Shalom. All right, we the Israelites will come out week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom called America. All right, but we just come with another lesson. Um, just pray and hope that it's edifying because we know we got uh, this wicked uh, holiday that's going to come up, uh, Christmas, which is our people and our whole nation is going to be celebrating. But before we get into the lesson, we want to give our praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit of truth. All right, in the Hebrew tongue. Call, call, halayim, la, la, yahweh, bahashim, yahweh shai, bahashim, bahashim, raka, kodash, kodash, ma'ama. Ma 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 all right, and we also want to give a, a, a double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, all right, and also a salutation to the, and blessings to the hopeful elect that's out there pushing and striving, all right, uh, and it's truth, and a few of walking women, also the children that believe on the name of yahweh, bahashim, yahweh shai. So uh, with that being said, you know, we want to jump right into it. Yeah. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. <clears throat> Hear ye the word which the Lord, Yahweh Bashimi, I was speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. All right, in the house of Israel, all right, which are the Lord's saints, are you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, and you Israelites, foreigners that scatter abroad amongst these other nations, man. The Lord said, hearken unto his voice, man. All right, ye children of Israel. All right, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay, the Lord said, Learn not the ways of the heathen. So, to take up these customs and, and, and these, these pagan holidays that these heathens spew out, all right, that's that's learning of the ways of the heathens. That's doing what the heathens do, man. All right, and numerous are acts in the scriptures of us of us uh, uh, falling off and, and, and um, going after these idols and, and, and worshiping uh, uh, these customs of these heathens. The Lord bring our judgment upon us, man. But the Lord commanded us not to do so. It says, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the he for the heathen are dismayed at them. All right? So the heathens are dismayed at the signs of heaven. And one of the uh, signs of heaven, all right, that uh, the, uh, the heathens are definitely uh, um, dismayed by, by them chariots, man. All right? For the custom of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with an axe. All right, and that's talking about your Christmas trees, man. That everyone that um in America now, especially you, you, you Jakes, you Israelites, uh, uh, get a tree and put it inside your house. All right, it's 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 all in vain, like the scripture says, man. Okay, it's in vain, man. You know, trying to uh, spend your money, waste your money on buying a, a Christmas tree and then getting presents for bad behind children that don't even respect their, their elders. You know, it's all in vain, man. It's all nonsense, man. And also, and also giving all the glory to the so-called white man. That's another form of white supremacy by teaching them about Santa Claus. God. Now, you, you got these parents that work hard to provide for these children and they give all the credit to some fat dude to talk about coming down the chimney. God. You know? Right, and uh, the scripture in Jeremiah, uh, he's talking about what? Babylon, all right? Babylonian idols. You see that? Right. So our, our people today are what? Following Babylonian and Syrian idols with that damn Christmas tree. That Christmas tree, they used to take that and stand around that shit and, 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 and pray. All right, they used to take the Christmas trees or the tree. That, they used to call it just regular, what is it called, a pine tree? Pine. They used to take that tree and they stand around it and, and pray to their idol gods, man. Specifically to Nimrod or whatever. You know? It says, for um, Jeremiah 10 and 4, it says, They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with the nails and with the hammers that it move not. All right. And that's what you do. That's what you do when um when you uh, keep the tree st uh, steady and you put all your, uh you know, your um decorations on it, man. This is talking about uh, the Christmas tree in the scriptures, man. Jeremiah chapter 10. The Lord said, don't learn the ways of the heathens and not celebrate that, that custom, man. So this is coming out of the scripture itself, okay? Right. And, and Esau uh, know, know of these scriptures, but they you know, they don't believe in the word and they put it out there, man. And then accuse our people of, uh, of worshiping these customs, man. Right. And, um, it started with the damn Germans bringing that shit over here to the Americas. All right, that damn pagan custom of Saturnalia. All right. Oh, oh I got a scripture. Uh, yeah. Pro yeah. Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. Con, so who is our oppressor? Our oppressor is Esau, man. All right. 
the Caucasian, the, the forefather of the Caucasian race. They are oppressing. Man. They've been oppressing our people since since the time of slavery and since the time back go all the way back to Antioch, Antiochus the fourth man. You know. All right. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. So once again, the Lord said, choose none of his ways, man. All right, we don't put to follow it after their customer or, or, or their way of living, man. No hearken on to what they spew out, man. We put to hearken on to the words of Yahweh Bashimi Awashah, which is we have eight holy days in the scriptures that we supposed to be still keeping to this present day, man. All right, and those these days are, are a, a, a memorial unto us that we are supposed to keep. Like one of the, uh, the, the, um, the feasts of dedication, man. Okay, that's a, a major high holy day that we supposed to still keep to this day, man. All right, when uh, um, during the um, Hasmonean dynasty, okay, when uh, uh, Judas, uh, um, Judas, Judas Maccabees was going up against uh, Antiochus IV and, and, and um, to, you know, basically take back our, our temple and rededicate it unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, that's what we still supposed to be keeping to this present day, man. Not no, uh, putting no Christmas tree in, in your household. And, and, and lying to your children, man. It's all an abomination is vain. Okay. Second Peter 1 and 16. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Kind. Oh, cunningly devised fables. You got it. Huh? You got it. Oh, yeah. Well, cunningly devised fables. So if you're in this truth, if you're a wise person, according to the book of Proverbs, you're going to not follow cunningly devised fables. You're going to not choose any ways of the heathen. All right. You're going to follow after what? Yahweh Shai, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of the men of the Lord, the righteous men of the scriptures. All right. The ways, the ways that were given to Israel through Moses and all to Yahweh Shai. Go ahead, brother. Right, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad. Con, surely oppression makes a wise man mad. So you constantly being oppressed in the society by Esau, which is that go back to the oppressor, who our oppressor is, all right? You're being oppressed by Esau. You're trying to get all this money and, and, and get some things to uh, celebrate a, 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 a pagan holiday, man. All right, and a wise man will understand that it's all is pagan, man. And we are, we are mad at, uh, we are mad at oppression. We are mad uh, uh, of these false, these false idols that they keep spewing on our people, man. In a gift, destroy the heart. A gift destroy the heart, man. All right, a gift destroy the heart, and you destroy your, your 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 children with giving them gifts and lies and saying that Christmas is okay, man. For you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Israelites that's out there, all right, teaching your children otherwise, man. Saying that you're doing it for the kids, man. You're really leading your kids down to destruction, man. Because right? really? the, the scripture says, follow, choose, uh, seek righteousness, man. Okay? That's what we're supposed to be doing, seeking righteousness. And, and righteousness go back into these scriptures of, of keeping the laws, commandments, and statutes that the Heavenly Father gave unto us. Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And how you train up your child? By teaching him the, the laws, commandments, and statutes of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh shot, man. All right? And you train your child up in the right way, in righteousness, they won't depart from it as they get older, man. But if you, you train up train them up in the wrong way, all right, in this society of, of teaching them a false custom, they're going to they gonna keep that, man. Right, man. And that's going to lead them down to destruction. They're going to teach their children, children, lies, man, that was put on us. Uh, real quick, but Dr. Shah, if I may, that's why the script, scripture in Ecclesiastes 77 says, you know what I'm saying, a gift destroyed the heart. You know what I'm saying? Because if you keep on feeding that, that spirit, you know what I'm saying, right. eventually you're going to be destroyed, man. You know, your how about she, your is going to destroy you spiritually first, then physically, man, because you choose the ways that he delight not in, man. And that's why our people are waxing worse and worse, you see, every day, every year with these holidays. Now they dressing up with antlers and putting red, red noses, talking about red, root off the red, no rain, doing all that bull crap, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see our people waxing worse and worse, because that gift has destroyed their heart, man. Right. That, and that root off the red nose rain there goes back to Bafo Met. I was just about Damn. to say that. Yep. Yeah. They, yeah, they just they basically dressing up as the devil, man. Yep. You know, this is our Deuteronomy chapter four, verse one. It says, Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments 
which I teach you for to do them that they may live, that ye may live and go and possess the land which the Lord of the power of our fathers giveth you. Yes, so that you may live, man. All right. We, he, he, he's basically saying that he's going to uh, uh, teach you, which is through, he's doing that through the mouth of his prophets. All right, starting with Pastor all the way down, we're teaching our people the ways of, of, of the Heavenly Father that we, that, that, that you can, um, that you will live, man, if you follow and take heed of, man. All right, because to depart from his commandment and his laws, commandments, and statutes, you're going you're gonna to die, man. All right, so it says, you shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish aught from it. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord, Yahweh Shimon, which I command you. Your eyes have seen that what the Lord, Yahweh Shimon, did because of Baal PR. For all, all the men that follow Baal, the Lord, thy power, hath destroyed them from among you. So there you go, man. So you follow behind Baal, all right, which is, uh, that's a part of the reason why uh, the northern tribe was taken down in 722 BC. All right, by Sar uh, with, uh, Sargon II, because during that time period when we was in uh, Samaria, they was worshiping and sacrificing their children unto Baal, man. That go back in, in, in uh, First uh, uh, Chronicles, man. No, uh, yeah, First Chronicles. If I'm saying it right, man. So that's a that's a whole another reason why the the Lord told us not to do these things, man. Not to make graven images, not to make idols, and not to serve other gods, because the Scripture says He is a jealous power, man. So you provoking them unto anger, man. That's the whole reason why we went into captivity because we provoke our heavenly Father into anger by sacrificing unto devils in the Book of Baruch, man. Got it. Real quick, the Bible shot. The Scripture also said you shouldn't add on, man. You know, because that's one of the things that you can't get repentance for, man. And what two thirds of our people do? They add on. They try to say that Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ's birthday was on the twenty fifth. Yeah. That's a lie. That's adding on to the Scriptures, man. They trying to say that the world can be saved. That's a lie. That's adding on to the scriptures. God. And that goes to show our people. They have changed their gods, man. Just like the scriptures say in Jeremiah. Has a nation changed their gods? But his people have done it. They changed their glory into something that profit not. God. This is Romans 11 and 3. Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars. And I am left alone and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of Yahweh unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. All right. And the meaning of the word seven go back to completion. And those men that's not going to bow to Baal is the, the 144,000 men. All right. The elect men of the house of David, man. All right. That he's raising up in front of the whole world that's out here on the highways and byways teaching his word and truth sincerity, man. And tearing down strongholds. They're not going to bow down to Baal, man. Right. Almost, you heard this or no, but yeah, still it. kind of take you to that transition. You'll see. Huh. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for. Con. And, and most of our people, they're not attaining what they're seeking for because our people seeking for the truth, man. Right. And they're not attaining the truth because the truth is, is present right in front of their face, man. Right. When they watch these videos and they walking out here on the highway, walking out here and, and they see the men teaching, the truth is right in front of their face, man. Right. Yep. And, and the elect have found a way. That's Con. the difference, right? Con. They got the wrong way and the right way. Con. And it says, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a, re a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back all ways. So they bow down to Baal. Huh. But the Lord said he preserves 7,000, meaning a complete number, a set number that's not going to bow in their spirit or submit to this system huh. or submit to their damn uh, philosophies, man, and idols. Huh. This is back at Deuteronomy chapter 4. I'm going to read verse 9. It says, Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life, but teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. So the Heavenly Father was saying, Teach your children the law, statutes, and commandments. 
Don't go in the way of the heathen. Unless you forget these things which you have seen with your eyes, meaning the miracles, the great things that he's done for the children of Israel. We're supposed to teach these uh, laws such as commandments to our sons' sons. We're supposed to keep this, keep, keep a standard and, and teach our children in the right way so that they won't go astray. Like they like like the generations before us, our parents and so forth and so forth have taught in the ways of the, of, of the heathen. Come. You got it. All right, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 25. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So if you mm -hmm. think you think uh um falling after the ways of Christmas seem right unto you, all right, the end of that is death, man. Because that's 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 that go back and worshiping another that's go back to worshiping idols and false gods, man. All right, Christmas ties to a false pagan deity, a false god, man. All right, which is Nimrod, man. Okay. All right, all right. So we say idols and, and false gods, right? Come on. All right, this is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 8. It says, But that which is made with hands is cursed, as well it is it, as he hath made it. He because he made it, and it because it because and it because being corruptible is called God. So basically, so the thing that made these idols, right, that these are, are people are worshiping, right, is cursed just as just as well as the thing. Because this is the thing that they're looking at as 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 a god, as as a power, but it has no hope, it has nothing. All right, it can't deliver you from anything. All right, it says for the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike. Unto Yahweh, for that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. So uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just agree. All right. So so basically, you're gonna be punished just like he's gonna destroy all the. That's how he destroyed all the gods out of Egypt. All right. You're gonna be punished just right along with them when that destruction comes, man. For for following for conforming your mind to the ways of the heathen, and just like how the brother brought out, we've been we've been taught this generation after generation after generation. But what did it was only for a time period. Uh, so uh, the Lord put a stop to it for us to come come back into remembrance of the things that we once knew, that we once forgot that was taken away from us. Come you got it. Come This is Proverbs chapter 11, it's like you chapter 12, verse 3. A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. You're not going to be established by wickedness. You're not going to be established and set up for salvation, worshiping Saturnalia or Christmas, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day, Easter, your birthday, Jesus' birthday, whoever birthday. All these things are pagan and, and, and they do not line up with the scriptures. So you will not be established by wickedness. But it says the root of the righteous shall not be moved. Following the laws, the statutes, the commandments of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah to the best of your ability and doing what the Lord say to do and living the correct way, which is in righteousness. You have to go to that scripture in Jeremiah when it says, remember your path. All right. Because that's the path. The path that we supposed to remember is following the ways of old, man. Okay. You can get uh, Romans 16 and 6. Okay. You get Romans chapter uh, 1. 12. Yeah. Chapter 12, verse okay. 1. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Okay, and that's what that's what the men of Israel that have testicles that are supposed to be testifying, supposed to be doing, man. All right, presenting their body as a living sacrifice. That go back into remember that path, man. Okay. All right, you got it. Yeah. This is Jeremiah chapter six, verse sixteen. Thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path. So right now, this you must be asking for the old path, man. Which way that is uh, uh that's right unto the Lord, man. Okay. All right. It says, and walk therein, and you shall find rest for your souls. Okay, and to find rest for your soul is first departing from this place uh uh, uh mentally, all right, and spiritually, all right, and cleaving unto your heart by some Yahweh shot, man. All right, because by you ultimately find a rest for your soul is by diving in these scriptures, man. That go back into uh, um things that are written for four time was written for our learning. That require you to read and to study, man. And you're definitely going to find rest unto your soul by learning of the ways of Yahweh Shai, our Malak, our king, man. Okay? Because he is the uh, the, uh, the perfect man that we're supposed to be following after. When he came on, on the scene, come. when he came on the scene, he was he sent here to do the will of Yahweh, man. Which are, that's really all the men and duty of, of men of Israel. 
right? Hey, real quick. Uh, now that rest, if, 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 if you don't have rest, then you're not standing still. What, you're a busybody. You're getting to work. I'm going to read the scripture. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 14. That ye henceforth, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. All right, so those, uh, if you're what? Tossed about to and fro with every wind of doctrine, you're destroyed. What? I hope it. All right. So, um, so, so to be in this truth, you find rest from all that, man. All that damn confusion. All right. Go ahead, bro. All right. How you doing? All right. How y'all doing? All right. We out here to teach that the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, that they are God's chosen people according to the book. Their heavenly father's name is Yahweh, and the son's true name is Yahweh Shaggy, our people they will call Jesus Christ. And real soon, the Lord is going to bring judgment. And these people that's on this sign, they finna bring in that RFID chip and the force to chip, which is go back to the mark of the beast on everyone, which is the Lord said in Revelation chapter 14, not to take the chip. So we out here to, uh, uh, you know, teach the truth and the word about people. I know about y'all, but I'm from Philly, man. So, you, you know from what I mean? Philly? Yeah, so I, I know about y'all very well. You know what, what I mean? What part of Philly are you from? South Philly. I'm from South Philly. Yes, yeah, sir. 17th and Tasker, Capitol Street. Yeah, yeah. Capitol Street. Yeah, you know, okay. Yeah. Capitol Street. So, crowd is round and I'm around your way. Yeah, yeah Capitol Street, too. Yeah, 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 I live on Capitol Street, 1300 block. Right, man. You know, so I right off point three. Names on there, but yeah, where you going back? Uh, I, I, I live here now, man. I've been here for a year and a half. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. I was in South Florida for four, four and a half years when I went to California. Yeah. And I came here. And yeah, we moved from we moved from 17th and Titan over there by Warden. Warden Street. Up to 19th and Warden, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's why dude and you know, Sultan and all around yeah, that way. I know all them guys. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, you know, I, mean, I come up around at the Ansar community, uh, right. uh, Mystic Order of Melchizedek, and you know what I mean? Me being Islamic Hebrews, all that, man. You know yeah, what I mean? but you know all of them, man. Yeah. They came and went. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I know. You so, know yeah. now we're in the time of deliverance. The, yeah. Lord, the Lord kept everything blocked until yes. now. Yeah, truth is the truth, man. That's right, you know man. I mean? Yeah, truth is truth, man. Now so, we're in the time of deliverance and revelation. Yeah, no matter who it comes from, it's the truth is the truth. Man. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, oh, keep going, bro. Right. You good. God bless you, brother. Hey, God bless you, man. Good, good, good see you, Mr. Fellow Philadelphia, man. Yes, sir. Y'all guys take care. Man. All right, be safe, man. Right. Great work, too. Man. Thank you. Yes, sir. This is Isaiah chapter 28, verse 12. To whom he said, this is the rest wherewith you may cause the weary to rest. All right, and we are the ones that are weary, man. The children of Israel are the ones that are, are, are weary. And um, out of the children of Israel, it's, it's the idea, man. And he calls cause you to read these scriptures man all right this is where you're going to rest at by reading these scriptures by seeking out of the book man and reading man and, and in addition to that how the elder brought out the other scriptures saying being tossed to and fro every wind of doctrine all right you can't get any rest because esau's policies change all the time their ordinances change all the time their religions change all the time at one point in time it was it was it was it was it was deemed um uh an abomination in the churches to be a homosexual, but now they're okay with it. See, they don't never stick concrete to anything that they put that they put out. So the thing about it, you you get tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine, whatever could be, because they keep changing their keep doctrine. Changing. You know, so we we rest in the truth, and it's because the truth, the Most High will never change. He's a man that he cannot lie, and he's not an author of confusion. You know, and, and, and these pastors, churches, and and mainly uh, Esau is. Um, you know, he come out here being he Esau is mainly the author of confusion, man. Uh, All right, to say that he's a uh, 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 for God, but he's in his action and in, in his action is not uh, of God, man. Well, it's of the devil. Right, right. He's of his God. That's who we, that when 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 the manifestation of who the saints are, when it, when that happens, when Yahweh shows up, everybody's gonna realize they've been worshiping the Baal all this time and worshiping the devil. All right, but we're trying to profess to these people. That that's what you're doing, worshiping the devil. But no, nah, they don't want to hear it. Like this, the scripture said, this is the rest where I call the weary to rest, but they would not hear. You know, this is the refreshing, but they won't hear. You know. This is John chapter ten, verse twenty-five. Yahushai answered them, "I told you, and ye believe me not." And how the Lord, the Lord is still telling unto His people through the mouth of His prophets, man. And y'all still don't believe the truth, man. Okay, Romans 3 and 3, Babakashah. The works that I do 
in my father's name, they bear witness of me. Con, because he's like us today. Con, because yeah. he, he came in. That also showed that the whole uh, uh, Holy Trinity is out the picture because he came in, in his father's name. Man. Right. Okay. That's right. And the works we do bear witness of, of uh, Yahweh Shah's righteousness, of uh, Yahweh Shah's work. And Esau, their work they're doing is going to bear witness that they're of the devil. Con. But ye believe me not because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. Con, and that go back into the, it's going to be 7,000 uh, uh, men that's not going to bow down to uh, Baal, man. Right, right. All right. That's going to be his sheep, the elect out of, out of the nation of Israel. Because two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and you Israelite foreigners, y'all not of the Lord's sheep because y'all following the devil, man. Right. All right. Y'all of your father, the devil. Y'all learning the ways of the devil, man. Esau. My sheep hear my voice. And I know them, and they follow me. And right now, we're doing what the Lord is telling us to do, man. We follow him through, through his word by coming out here and being diligent and teaching the word, man. Being right. obedient. Right. One of his people, like he commanded us to do. And I give unto them eternal life. All right. And he's given unto, he gave us um, eternal life by believing in his name, man. All right? Right. By you believing on the name of Yahweh Shai, which is they trying to demonize and say uh, anti-Semitic. Which is that's a lie, man. The, the name of Yahweh Shai means he delivered, man. All right, because he he was sent to deliver his people, man. Which is his people are the nation of Israel, right. and the ones that he's going to deliver this time in this realm is going to be the elect, the hundred and forty-four thousand men, and the remnant, man. That's who he's going to redeem and, and, and deliver. And, and Lord, whether we pray that our our works bear witness that uh, we are those men right. that he have set up, start on past all the way down, man. Yep. And they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. See Esau, see Esau are gonna have uh, two thirds of our people going to and fro with every wind of doctrine. But the elect, they're not gonna be able to be plucked out of the father's hand, plucked out of the truth. All right. Um, my father which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I got a quick. Quick interjection. Of course. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hands of Yahweh, <laughs> and there shall no torment touch them, man. Yeah. So even though Esau trying to yeah. gonna come down with great wrath, the Lord is going to lift up a standard against Esau, man. Yeah. All right? And we we are in the hands of Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. He says, no torment is going to touch us, man. Right. All right? No torment. So so that's just a, the, just a cut, man. Just to cut you damn devils, man, and, 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 and you false prophets out there, man. We are in the hands of the Lord, man. Nothing can't not uh, separate us from from the love of Hamashiach uh, Yahweh Shai, man. You can go back with that. Uh, All right, man. This is First Maccabees chapter two, verse fifty. Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law, and give your lives for the covenant of our fathers. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall ye receive great honor and an everlasting name. Come on, and I think that was uh, Mattathias okay, that was okay. speaking unto his sons before he, he passed, man. To, to, and that go back to uh, teaching his sons, all right, train up his sons in a way that they would not depart. And he was telling them to, uh, uh, to follow after the ways of our forefathers that was following, um, uh, worshiping Yahweh, man. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. All right, because by you doing that, you're going to bring honor unto yourself, man. But being disobedient to the word and saying that you are uh, uh, that you black and all these other things, man. No, you are a Hebrew Israelite, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. We are God's chosen people. All right, we have laws, commandments, and statutes. All right, that 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 uh, uh, conduct us in the ways of life, that keeping our dignity and, and our integrity, man, and to, to to be upright, man. All right, you got it. Go back to Romans. It's Romans chapter twelve. I'm gonna start back at verse one. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. All right, and that's our whole reasonable service, man. All right, to keep the fear of Yahweh and to keep his commandments, man. That's the whole duty that is our obligation to do, man. Keep going, about the show. Verse two, and be not conformed to this world. All right, one more time, because that's the point, man. And be not conformed. Unto this world. Because the world teaches you, all right, um, the world teaches you of the things of the world, but not of Hamashiach, Yahweh's child, man. 
all right? Esau teach you of his ways, man, to do as thou will, man, to worship by all, all right? To be a homosexual or lesbian, man. He teaching of the ways of the devil, man. Uh, and, and if I may add on, that's why uh, scripture say, be not confounded to this world, man. Because in uh, Job 9 and 24, it says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right. So therefore, if this earth is given into the hands of the wicked, it's under wicked rulership, man. So it's nothing righteousness coming out of it except for the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai man that he set up, man. So therefore, all right, two thirds of our people are falling after this wicked uh, uh, ownership. So they're, they're being of their father, the devil, man. Just like the brother was speaking on. Come. Come. Yeah, they go for the women, too. Con, yep. Con. go for the women as well, man. All right, that uh, love the society, one awesome. foot in and one foot out, man. <laughs> Definitely. Oh. All right, this is the book of James, chapter four, verse four. Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye, know ye <laughs> not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's straight to the point, man. All right, for you women, you men, that's of Israel, they want to be uh, still in the society, still hoping in the system, still hoping on your money and stuff coming in, man. All right, still want to be of this world, man. All right, you are an enemy unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And if you're an enemy unto the Lord, and you become to start being an enemy unto his men, that means you're an enemy unto Yahweh Shai, and you're an enemy unto Yahweh, man. And you will perish if you being the Lord's enemy, all right? Straight to the point, man. Yeah, male or female. Male or female, man. Yeah, this is Proverbs 21, 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And that go for men, men or women, man. Right, all I got, right. I got two for you. Come. I'm gonna keep going real quick. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. And that's spiritual. Come. Yeah, if you love wine or 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 or, or oil, which is this, this wisdom, all right, this wisdom knowledge and understanding, all right, you, you're gonna be rich in the spirit, man. But if you love pleasure and the and the gifts and the, the benefits and things that you get out of this society, you're gonna be poor in the end, man. Yeah, basically saying if you if you if you love um being drunken, all right, if you buy a lot of drinks and alcohol. You're gonna go broke. You know, you're gonna be in folly, you're gonna be poor. So if you look at that spiritually, uh, our people are what? Drunken but not with wine. So they're gonna be spiritually poor. Yeah, one more, one more, one more. I, 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 <laughs> this is now he said male or female. Now let's go to the female. First Timothy five and six. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead oh, while she liveth. God. So that goes that's straight to the point. So man. you had the male, you you'll remain in the congregation of the dead if you love pleasures. And the woman, she's dead while she's living. So if you're not following after the man of the Lord or, or the ways of the scriptures, then you're you're experiencing dead. You're gonna remain in the congregation of the dead. Uh, you're gonna do dead things, you know? Go ahead, brother. Con, man. So as far as like Christmas, I didn't wanna limit it just to Christmas. Con. All right, this is going back to uh, what the brother DeBar said about the people of Israel who win this truth with one foot in and one foot out. Yeah. Uh, this is the book of James, chapter one. Speak up a little bit, Bakasha. This is the book of James, chapter one, verse twenty-two. But be ye doers of the word, not and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. All right. And with that being said, some people would take the scripture and use it for their own for their own benefit, man. All right. And they de deceiving their own self, man. But he says, be ye hearers of the word and doers, and not be ye hearers of the word and doers too, man. Roughly paraphrasing. So you're supposed to be a doer of the word, man. Okay, that mean being obedient, all right, unto the spirit, keeping the laws, commands, and statutes to the best of your ability, man. All right, conduct your, yourself and move in the spirit, man. This is uh, to rock chapter five, verse seven. Uh, for, for those who have one foot in and one foot out, both male and female, it says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. All right, so it says, make no tearing to turn to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah and put not off day to day, man. Because by you doing that, you procrastinating, man. Yep. All right, you procrastinating. One minute you with it, one minute you not, man. Done. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord Yahweh come forth and end thy security 
Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. All right, you're gonna be destroyed when Yahweh shall bring back that sword that he said he was gonna bring, man. All right, you're gonna perish in the day of vengeance, man. So it's very important that that, that you seek the Lord, man, as you seek his righteousness, man. Seek after, after the custom that was given unto our people, man, and conduct yourself with integrity and dignity. You bring it up, bring it up. Right. Book, this is the book of Psalms, chapter one, verse one. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. All right, and to walk in the counsel of the ungodly is learning the ways of the heathen, man. All right, um, uh, uh, being of, of, of this society, man. All right. Nor standeth in the way of sinners. Very good. Nor sitteth in the seat of the uh, of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. All right, so that go for man and woman. All right, and meditate on his word, man, which is that mainly speaking towards the men, but also for women that also believe in his truth as well, man. All right, you must be meditating upon these scriptures day and night, man, making sure that you conduct and examine yourself how scriptures are uh, uh, supposed to be, man. Right, because that's, that's a twofold scripture. He said, what, don't walk in the way of sinners, meaning doing what? These holidays, folly days, folly days and all their wickedness. And also don't become a scorner. Don't, don't become a blasphemer attacking the scriptures. Becoming a damn uh, Satanist or adversary to the truth, antichrist or anti-anointed, right? An adversary to the truth. Instead, he said, walk in the way, follow the ways of righteousness, the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, and also fight for the truth. You see that twofold. All right, don't fight against the truth. Uh, sitting in the seat of the scornful. Because the scripture says, follow not a multitude to do uh, to uh, to to do evil, man. All right, or to sin, roughly paraphrasing, man. Yeah, yeah. And that's what that's what uh that broad way that uh, a lot of two-thirds of our people in the world walking in, man. But the Lord said, enter ye in the straight gate, man. And by you entering ye in the straight gate is by following after that after that path that Yahweh shall love, man. Right. You got it? Yeah, this is Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And the whole world, all right. Walking in that broad way, man, that's going to lead them to destruction, man, because the Lord say he's coming to lay this place desolate, man. All right. It says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. All right. And narrow is something that's difficult, man. All right. That leadeth unto life, man. You're going to have ups and downs. You're going to be persecuted. You're going to be mocked. Are you going to be scoffed at? Your family may turn on you. Your woman may turn on you. Okay. Affliction, Affliction man. That's why the scripture says, endure hardness as a good soldier, man. All right. Hardship or to, uh, uh, or to endure affliction or, uh, uh, or to be troubled, man. All right. This is um, Matthew 5, verse 29. It says, and if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. All right. So if somebody uh, offend you, all right, you got to cut it off, man. Okay? Move away from that person. Separate yourself from that. All right? If they're offending you when it comes towards this word, man. And also, if you're offending yourself, like being having one foot in and one foot out, mm -hmm. whatever that is is causing you, that's that's causing you to still be a part of this world, you got to cut that part off you. Because it's better to go in with, 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 with half a body than... Then to let the whole it says one a little leaven leaven the whole lump. Right. So you have to cur you have to purge whatever it is out of you to enter you into the straight gates. It's like a uh, real quick, just like a plant. If the, if if this whole tree was dead, but yet there was a one tree that had like a good little bit of nutrient, and the one leaf that had a little bit of nutrient, you can cut that leaf off, put it into a pot, and a whole new tree will grow up from that. Right. 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 And the other way around. If you got a whole tree and you got a branch that's bad or dying, you Gone. cut that one off, prune in the tree. That's what the Gone. Lord does. Gone. He'll cut it off. We got to learn how to prune, uh, prune ourselves. Yep. And the Lord the Lord is doing that too. Kick, kick their ass out the truth. Gone. <laughs> Gone. He'll kick you out the truth, man. Yeah, dead branch with no water, no, no, no water flowing through it, no circulation. Uh, Matthews 19 and 28. And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. And that going to recon, uh, re, uh, reincarnation, man. All right, right. just to cut a, a, a vocab saying that uh, a reincarnation is not real. But that's in the scripture. That's the Lord himself saying that, that his men will follow him again. Right. They're going to be regenerated. Con. 
when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon the 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Con, that's a, that's uh -huh. a, 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 a great recompense of reward that's that's given unto the Lord's men, all right. All right? That we're gonna be judging our people, man, all right? And judging them in righteousness, man. Like, like, like a lot of people say when we say, they's like, oh, you can't judge. I'm like, well, we can judge according to these scriptures. And the scripture does say he who was without sin cast the first stone. But the thing about it is our people would rather follow under the order of, of the so-called white men but instead of following under the order of righteousness that the brother's trying to teach There's us. an entire book in the Bible called Judges. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that, but it's a, a book called Judges. You know, but the thing about it is these people out here, two thirds of our people that come up against us say you don't have the authority or who, who makes you who do you think you are? Who gives uh, you authority over me? You think gain of godliness make it up? Yeah, I get it. That's what that is right there. One think? more. Uh -huh. This is uh, cutting that, that right, if that right hand offend thee. 29. And everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or fathers or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Con, so with that being said, man, you forsake everything that's on this side as being a man of the Lord, okay? You you receive a hundredfold, man. Yep. All right, because you may lose your children, you may lose your wife, you may lose your father, your mother, they may turn on you, man. All right. all right, because, and that shows separation. All right, that shows division, man. That shows a, a, a variance all right. All right, between y'all two, man. Yeah, DMX said it best. If you love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, it's yours. Con. And most likely, if it don't come back, it's made to be destroyed. Con. So if you let it go, the Lord said He's gonna give you a hundredfold in the kingdom, man. So if you got if you got blessings on this side, many wives, a couple wives, or one wife, or children, the Lord He ain't gonna take that from you. He said if you marry, you sin not. He said in the kingdom, He's gonna give you more than that. All right. Oh. And if you don't if you don't let that go, right, it'll end up destroying you. You know what I'm saying? So right. you got to be able to cut it off. And that's why he said, let a wicked woman be given to a wicked man or a wicked man to a wicked woman. All right? She'll be given as a portion. And he said, a righteous man shall escape these things. Con. All right? A righteous man going to follow the way of Yahweh Bashim Shai in every situation in his life. Uh, <clears throat> to escape what? Destruction. To escape the snare, the trap of the devil. The trap of the follower, man. Go ahead, brother. You got it. This is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 3. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to the wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strife of words where, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, and evil surmising. All right, and we experienced that with... Uh, <laughs> With the bald head dude that came up, man. Yeah, Anthony Bops. <laughs> yeah. Came up here with envy and strife, man. <laughs> and questioning. All right. He didn't he 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 even tried to hear the doctrine. And that's a lot of that can go for a lot of uh, two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Jakes, man. All right, that go for a lot of y'all, man. Yeah, all right. All right, so, all right, so verse five it says, perverse disputing of men, corrupt minds, and and destitute of the truth. Supposing that gain is godliness, all right, and that's what mostly uh, 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 our people, all right, they think gain is godliness. If you get, if you got money, you got a car, you got a house, or you getting this much, they think that is godliness, man. No, that's not godliness, man. Godliness is, is falling after uh, righteousness, man. Godliness is to be obedient unto the spirit. Godliness is is, is uh, pleasing the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and and glorifying Him. That is godliness, man. Not money, not cars, not riches. Yeah. All right. that's, the, that's the main thing. Your, your uh, what would they call it? Your family members mm -hmm. will tell you in these times. Well, I'm, I got money. I got I got um, money has been manifested unto me. I don't know about the guys you serve. <laughs> you know they had, they had a turkey. They had a ham. Yeah, you good. So I had my cousin before. Um, it was one day we had got down teaching. It was a Sunday, and I was at home chilling, resting. And uh, he came like, yo, cuz, I got a job now. You know what I'm saying? Look at me now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you call him, but he so blessed me. And I was like, he was like, you want to hang out? I was like, nah, cuz, I'm good. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Because right then and there, he blasphemed. Right. But you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to call him, like right in my mouth, like, yeah, I'm not finna hang with you. As soon as you ask me, I'm gonna tell you. Look, yeah, man, because he blessed. The Lord gave Alexander the creep money. God. The Pharaoh was raised up. So wealth, the devil has riches. God. So riches don't show anything, man. Nope. And, 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 and two thirds of our people also, man, uh, like you said in Sirach, all right, when a rich man speak, they keep their mouth closed and exalted to the stars, man. But when the poor man speak, they'll be the first ones to throw them over, roughly paraphrasing. All right, why? Because they feel like uh, if you don't got nothing to show or uh, give out here, man, you don't got nothing to say. They don't feel like they got to listen to you. And that's the point. That's why he said the meek shall inherit the earth. That's why you had the king of the earth, our, 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 our redeemer, Yahweh right? He came in riding on a donkey, man, you know? He came in as on a, on a meek spirit. Now, now if he would have came in his glorified form, everybody would have listened. But see, that that's not from a spiritual perspective. He came in spirit. That's why the scriptures say he was made a little lower, lower than the angels. For um, why? Um, so he could come in the meek, humble spirit, and he could take the same affliction that his brother was going, brothers were going to take out here in the world. So that's why he came in a lowly spirit like that. But when you come in a lowly spirit in this society, they look at you as nothing, or you weak. Right. Yeah, right. And if something's already exalted, where is where's room for it to be more exalted? Right. So if it's brought low, it can be it can be raised up. So the Lord brought us low so he can raise us up in the end. Yeah, keep that fire going. Go on. Go on. Uh, all right, this is the book of Sharon. Chapter 20, verse 29. Presence Go. and gifts. Blind the eyes right. of the wise. Mm. So pl mm. presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise, man. All right, your Christmas presents, all right, that, that, that you're giving unto your children, okay, or your gifts and, and, and things that you uh, bribe each other with. That's that destroy your mind, man. Got it. And stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. Right. Done. Hey. What did they say about the, uh, what they call them, John? That's on the video that was on social media. They were talking about the stockings over the fireplace. And they said the stockings, um, stockings, right? Right. The stockings over the fireplace, that represent um, some pagan shit as well. So where they believe that the devil will come down to your chimney and put sticks in there, which is witchcraft. Sticks, which goes back to wicker, which goes back to... Uh, Wiccan stuff. Wiccan like and stuff that. like that. So they had they put a bundle of sticks in there or they give you an apple of fruit, if you were good or bad. So now... Um, they they use that in in the sense of what today a child goes into the stockings and they get gifts. There's something in there guaranteed. It makes them what it teaches them to overlook that good or bad. Either way, they're gonna get something. And it, or well, you naughty or nice. That Santa Claus bullshit. So he got they, on that video. They were saying he's he's the uh, the, the the devil or that idol image that they created. Satan calls it's supposed to have some type of spiritual power to tell if you're doing naughty or nice. You know what you're doing in your life. Yeah. He sees everything. You see that? So they put him over you over your, on the level of your house. Yeah. Well, what's that song? He sees you when you're sleeping. He's sleeping. He, he knows, knows when, when you're awake. awake. Right. He knows when you've been bad or good. So, be good. so they teach yeah. him as if he's God. But on Christmas, what everybody get? They guaranteed to get something. Gone. So they don't matter if they're good or bad. Gone. So it teaches them over time to to, to uh, no boundaries. They, Gone. That's what the Lord said. Raise up your child as, as they should go. Man. Gone. So in all actuality, it's like that uh, do as thou wilt. Because at the end of the day, yeah, shit, you know. Switch. Oh, con. Uh, con. Uh, con. Oh, con. So, uh, yeah, man. So basically, uh, you know, that's just that uh, do as thou wilt spirit, man. Because you got all these 365 days throughout the year. All right, okay. If you be good, you can get these presents, man. But shit, as you can see, all right. Uh, uh, kids these days, nothing but monsters, man. All right, as it talks about in the scripture, second Ezra's, man. All right, so they they, they bat throughout all the year, all right, and they still receive a reward for that, man. So, yeah. therefore, it doesn't matter the uh, 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 uh the cons whatever they do, yeah, right. they're still going to reap reward at the end of the day, man. Yeah, right, and that's why the scriptures are the only thing that can teach you between what good and bad, teach you, teach you good, like, um, the difference between good and evil, righteous and wicked. All right, none shall want her, her mate, go ahead, brother. This is Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. 
who is as the wise man and who knoweth the interpretation of the ever thing a man's wisdom making his face to shine and the boldness of his face shall be changed God, and that's what you see on all the men all right that that's out here pushing this way to truth sincerity man all right that wisdom making my face to shine man it changes our, our countenance that go back into what uh let your light so shine before men that they see you glorifying your father which is in heaven man because that the lord gave us that wisdom man. all right i i counsel thee to keep the king's commandments and that in regard of the oath of yahweh be not hasty to go out of his sight. Stand not in the evil thing, for he do it whatsoever pleaseth him. Con, so don't 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 uh, <laughs> do that uh, uh, evil thing, man. Okay, like uh, it's a number, it's a num it's a lot of number, uh, many things that uh, many examples could show that uh, uh, you know, uh, things that are evil, man, like celebrating pagan holidays or being a lesbian, being a homosexual, or. A woman raising up a man or a man uh, uh, being, you know, many things, man. You know, mm -hmm. all that is evil, man. Okay, that's not that's not keeping the ways of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, man. Wait, he said what? He said uh, he, he follows his own ways. That's that do as thou wilt spirit. Right. And, and you following, Esau follow his own way, and you idiots follow after their way. Following after the ways of the heathen. Like, yeah. He said, uh, go back to the part where he says, um, don't go out of the way of his sight. Yeah. Hey, all right. Be real clear to him what you're saying. Yeah. All right, verse three. Be not hasty to go out of his sight. Stand not in an evil thing. All right, so be not hasty to go out of his sight. All right. What is the process of death? All right. Um, It says he hides his face, meaning he, he, you're out of his sight. He's no longer going to cover you anymore. All right. So you got to stay. The only way to stay in his sight and his presence is through these scriptures, man. So you have to stay conformed to, to what he says, because his will is going to be be done regardless at the end. Just hope that you can cut yourself off from this world and live according to the spirit. I mean, yeah, we got to work to provide our daily bread, but if we put him first, he'll make sure we, all those things are given unto us. You know, we just got to be mindful and think, and like the scriptures say, be harmless as a snake, um, uh, harmless as a dove and sly as a snake. Meaning we can uh, use this system, but not be of this system. It's just so simple and clear, but we got to put your house by shooting y'all with first. Yeah, please. All right. This is Isaiah 42 and 16. You got this. I will bring, and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. All right, so that's us coming back into our remembrance of things that we once knew. Yeah. All right, because we are blinded. Why? Because it is all everything. That's why Esau flashes things in front of you so, to try to blind you of what you know. what I'm saying so you can you can't see what's really in front of you. Right. I will lead them in paths. This is what you just said. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make no. I will make darkness light before them, and crooked things straight. God. These things will I do unto them and not forsaken them. Huh, so what? how does he make crooked ways straight? By what? John 17 and 17, sanctifying us through the truth. Because yeah. his word is true. That's that's what lighteth our path. Right. right. That's how he made light and darkness, man, through this word. Yeah, the straight represents what? Righteousness. Huh. Huh. Right. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images that say to molten images, Ye are our gods. All right, and, and, and we were ashamed of what, when we turned back. That's the one thing that gives repentance because you feel guilty for doing the things you did in the past. But the scriptures say, let not thy past sins wear you down because why? He's, he's going to wash away all those sins. Why you, why, how? By you coming out here and doing this work. It says charity wipe away a multitude of sins. Huh. So if you want to be like in these churches, they say, oh, I do good deeds. But no, nah, you don't do good deeds. You do a good. You do good deeds according to the uh, the, the the face of man, but not the face of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. Yeah, I got one more. Matthew is fifteen and thirteen, but he answered and said, "Every plant which my father, my heavenly father, have not planted, shall be rooted up." All right. So That's all the churches, yeah, yeah. so all these philosophies and these seeds that Esau planted to this earth, all right, they're gonna be rooted up. But yeah. the seeds that Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai plant through his men. Are gonna be are not gonna be forsaken, man. They're gonna be delivered, man, and still standing strong when that day comes. Right, and what some of them see the philosophies, these churches, huh. right, their system. Uh, let them alone; they be blind leaders of the blind, 
And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Boom. I got a precept real quick. Yep. This is Proverbs 19 and 21. All right, it says, There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of Yahweh by Shemi, I will shine, that shall stand. So that's just it, man. All... No, you good, good. Because no, you, you, you can have many devices, many imaginations in a man's heart. But he said, The counsel of what? Of Yahweh by Shemi, I will shine. The counsel of the Lord that shall stand. Why? Because you're going to have many men with one mind. You uh, see that? Instead of having uh, many, many men or a few men. With multiple imaginations. That's confusion. Instead of having many men with one mind of your house shall. Because uh, the heart, I got a quick yeah. interjection. Oh, got All right, this is the book of Shura, chapter 23, verse 17. All bread is sweet to a homemonger. He will not leave off till he die. Kind of, I just brought that out to back up the elder, man. You know what I'm saying? There's just one truth, man. One way, one doctrine, right. one name, one, one, one father, man. Right. You know, the father name is Yahweh and the son name is Yahweh shot. Those are the only names you can call on to get salvation. You know, there's one faith, man, one doctrine. The only way, the only one path to walk down to, to, to get to the kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? But all bread is sweet to a homo, you know, a spiritual homo. He's going to, he's going to dwell with many, many women, which are these philosophies, man. Those are the individuals. I, I had an individual last night that's going to dispute and debate with me talking about there are many truths. All right? <laughs> there you go, man. We just, that's, that's, and that's the point. That's a, all bread is sweet to a whoremonger. So if you're a spiritual whoremonger, meaning you, you can, oh, there's truth, you can find truth in everything. I said, well, if you can find a lie in it, it is not the truth. That's just it. Plain and simple. I mean, there are not many truths, man. That, that, it, that, 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 that would be confusion right there. If there were many truths. All right, it's just what you perceive as being the truth, which is the lie. Right. You had a point? Oh, I could, you had a point? Oh, okay. yeah, to go back and say how uh, the heart, the man heart have many devices because it's, it's wicked, man. The it, it, ob is wicked, man. But the spirit ain't dealing with you, man. So you can't, you can't uh, rely or trust in yourself, man. You got to trust in the spirit of God in you in the right way. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 17. I'm going to start at verse 9. The heart is despisefully, deceitfully. So like, it, it says the heart is deceitfully, deceit, deceitful, above all things, and despisefully, desperate. Death, so like it. Desperate. Desperate. Okay. This is a uh, Deuteron. This is a uh, Jeremiah chapter seventeen verse nine. The heart is the de, uh, deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? At the water, I can. All right. So your your mind, your your love is 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 uh. uh it's definitely wicked, man. Yes. All right, so you have to uh, believe in in, in, in um, the spirit of, of God in you the right way, man. And that all go back into reading these scriptures because the Lord said He come in the volume of the book, man. Yahweh Shai, which is a so called black man from the tribe of Judah. Man. All right. Okay. So and and then all right. So and that that's one thing I can say. That scripture proves one thing that those Christians are right about. It says God knows my heart. Yeah, right. <laughs> he does. He knows that it's wicked. Desperately wicked. So that's the thing. You have to be guided according to the spirit because if you got going to go, going a government according to yourself, man, that's going to lead you to destruction, man. Yeah, yeah. Proverbs nine, already. Uh, Proverbs nine, three. Proverbs three. Right. Good. Uh, verse ten. It says, "Yahweh searcheth the heart. I tried the reins, and even to give every man according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doings, because the." The, the corner of your ways, if your, uh, if your ways is, is of, of wickedness, all right, and not righteousness, the Lord is going to judge you according to your ways, man. Because he said, when Yahweh shot, he said when he come back, he said what? He come as a thief in the night, all right, and he's going to give uh, every man his reward, man, everything that they have done in, in their body, man. So if your reward is of, uh, if, you, if your ways is of wickedness, you got a, a reward for that, man, which is destruction. Your ways is of righteousness, all right, you have a reward of that, which is the kingdom, man. Right, which is eternal life, man. Which is that—that that is the most. That's the best gift that you want, man. Okay. All right. Yeah. And the key point, he says, it says, the Lord search the heart and try the reins, even to give every man according to his, his ways. And what are the ways of Esau? All right. So he's letting Esau run him up out here. He's giving him a time period for Esau to be Esau. And what he's going to reap his reward according to his ways, man.
So he's set, he's basically being set up for destruction, and anybody that falls behind him is going to be destroyed right along with him. Proverbs three and three: Let not mercy and truth forsake thee; bind them about thy neck; write them upon the table of thine heart. So he said, "Good." Which is this word, man? All right, bind them up, uh, upon your heart, man. Okay, let not let them not depart. Okay, they go back into um the the men that the um meditate day and night in the law of Yahweh Shai. Right. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of Yahweh and man. So you will find good understanding, man. All right, in all things, man, in man and also in in, in sight of Yahweh, man. Right, okay. So what did he say? He, he said he chose through the foolishness of preaching that we should be saved. So you'll be what? You'll be one of his priests out here teaching in the sight of men. He said, having good, uh, showing your understanding. What he say? Uh, a workman that should not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right. Um, Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. So trust. In all thy heart, which is the Hebrew word for your heart, is la'ah, which trust, is your trust mind. Yahweh. Trust Yahweh, man, with all thy heart, man, which is your mind, man. Okay, believe in it. That go back to having faith, man. All right, you have to truly believe. Right, he said what? He said, make his path straight. Don't lean to the left or to the right. And that's why he said, uh, lean not into thy own understanding. You see that? In all thy ways, acknowledge him, man. He said, what, what uh, man or person should, should you be in all conversation? And that conversation represents your actions, your speech, everything you're doing in your life. Be not wise in thine own conceits, in thine own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. Depart from that Christmas bullshit. Make your kids upset. So what, man? You know, um, those that laugh now are going to cry later. Uh, Those that cry now are going to laugh later. With, with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. And if not, this word will cut you to the bone. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, come on, brother. I got home, John. This is Sirach chapter 32, verse 17. It says, A sinful man will not be. Reprove, yep. but facts like no, you good. A, sin, a sinful person. What does that represent? Somebody that has their mind seared with a hot iron, hard headed, not trying to hear this word. They stop their ears. They turn their shoulders at the word, man. So that's a sinful person. Sinful, meaning what? A transgressor. Somebody that's going to continually do the sin. All right. All right. So a sinful man will not be reproved. Right. Sinful meaning hurtful, man. You want to hurt the Lord. You want to hurt the men of the Lord, man. You want to hurt this truth by your blasphemy. Go ahead. All right. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. Right. But a wise man is going to add into this word, going to add into the work. But a sinful man is going to find a what? A, an excuse according to his will. So everything you saying outside of this word is an excuse, man. God. If you're not trying to do this work, if you don't believe in your house by Shimmy, I was shy. If you say, I'm just doing it for the children, I'm going to keep these holidays, New Year's, whatever. It's just a time when family gets together. Yeah. Or you're doing it according to your own will because the father doesn't want that. Your house shy doesn't want that. You're doing it according to your own wicked ass will. You're just a damn creation. And you're doing it according to your own uh, uh, vain will, man. So you had that emotional pleasure in your own uh, 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 heart or your mind. To see your children smile and laugh. Can somebody get First John chapter two? Start at verse fifteen. Before right. the shop. Right. Every day of their existence, they're transgressing against the Father, and what? Adding sin unto sin. And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of, of, of your house. That's true. Yeah. Let me start at verse fifteen. All right. This is First John chapter two, verse fifteen. It says, "Love not the world." Neither the things that are in the world. All right. So this is what the Lord said. Love not the things that are in this world, man. All right. The holidays, the, the benefits and things that you get in the society. All right. Love not it. Love, love it not. Okay. Keep going to the shop. All right. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, 
the love of the father is not in him. And that's the point, man. If you love the things in your society and you lead into your own understanding, you want to do what you want to do, okay? The love of the father is not in you, man. All right? And that's basically showing that you, you're an enemy unto the Lord, man. Yeah. Right? That's, that's, that's just nipping in the bud. You're an enemy unto the Lord because why? You want to do it your way and not his way, man. All right? And we saw... We saw about uh, two thirds of our people in the past time of our forefathers, all right, that was in a disbelief. And what happened to them? They got destroyed, man. They didn't even get to go into the promised land when they came out of the, um, the wilderness, man. They, were, they was in the wilderness for 40 years, man. Right. Yep. You can judge. The most I set it up for you to be able to judge all these idols. And you you look through each one, you're going to see that there's nothing but wickedness tied to them. You know, and the judgment and, and destruction. If you look under Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you're going to see nothing but righteousness, man. Righteous judgment, righteous laws, righteous mindset, righteous spirit, man. And the same the same thing goes for humanity. When the Lord does his sift, what is he going to find that your works have done or been? And the things you've been speaking. Have you been speaking according to these idols, according to these um, these philosophies, or have you been speaking according to his will, or according to his plans? Did that show you whose side you want, bottom line? The righteous or the wicked? Oh, uh, he'll hold that for a minute. So. Yeah. Uh, this is just, just to back up the brother DeBlanc. Going back, our people walking in their own thoughts, their own ways. Yep. This is Sirach chapter 5, verse 2. Follow not thy mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Kind, that go back to leaning to your own understanding, man. Oh, right. kind of okay. Verse, uh, sorry, chapter 6 of Sirach. Verse 2, extol not thyself of the counsel of thine own heart, mm. that thy soul be not torn, torn in pieces as a bull string alone. You got it. And so don't extol yourself. I mean, don't lift yourself up in the counsel of your own heart, walking according to your own will, doing what you want to do, living in transgressions to your Yahweh you shot, you know, so that you won't be uh, torn to pieces as a bull string alone, so you won't get judged for being hard-headed and disobedient because you want to celebrate pagan satanic holiday for the children well you're gonna get judged for the children you know you're gonna get judged for being disobedient right, right. Yeah, yes, sir. I will put it and also man um you can bring that out one more time that last part before I can well basically you know what i'm saying um i got a quick precept this is uh philippians chapter three verse seven it says but what things were gained to me those I counted lost for Hamashiach. So those things that you gain of your own, man, you got to be willing to take off that mortar and put on the immortal, man. This, this is above uh, uh, above us, man. It's all about the Lord. Y'all will buy you shot. Bump the kids, bump us, man. We're supposed to be out here exalting the Lord, man, keeping his law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. All right? Verse 8, it says, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them, but dumb, and that I may win Hamashiach. So come, man, you got to be willing to cut this world off, man, in, 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 in order to, 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 to bring in that knowledge and wisdom of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim man. All right, the more you take off of this world, the more you can take into the Lord, Yahweh Bashim man. So, all right, so, so that what you cut off, all right, you kind of the shit, man, because that's what dung is, man. And once you take that shit, you flush it away, man. You ain't even worried about it no more. All right, you kingdom, you, you focused on the kingdom, man. Uh, uh, focused on that mark, pressing towards that mark, which is salvation. Um, all right, you get that first Corinthians. Yes, real quick, Dr. Shaw. That's why it's necessary to have patience, man. You gotta let patience have a first perfect work, man. Because seeking Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai is nothing that's gonna happen overnight, man. You gotta dedicate, you know what I'm saying, your la'ab to that, which is the Hebrew word for heart. Now, let me get this precept real quick, and I got that precept for you. Okay. This is the book of Sharap, chapter 20, verse 32. Necessary patience. And seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. Kind. And that goes to show you, man, if you're leading on your own understanding, you're only going to meet your own demise, man. Now, let me get that precept for you. All right. Now, second, also, second Corinthians. Kind of second Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. And that also patience, you have to be patient in this truth. Man. Another word for patience is long suffering, man. All right. Because not, not nothing is going to be uh, uh, speedily uh, as quick, man. All right, that's with anything, man. With building, uh, studying, that's with anything. You have to be patient and, and, and see progress, man. You can't just quit. All right, this is the book of Second Corinthians, 
chapter 7, verse 1. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness. All right, and, and what is filthiness, man? And I also go back into the beginning what we said earlier about purging your spirit, man. All right, uh, um, filthiness is, 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 is learning out the ways of these customs, man. All right, learning the ways of, of these doctrines, these um, different doctrines, man. All right, so the Lord commanded us to cast it off, man. So we can purge ourselves from this filthiness and, and, and to cleave onto the word that's that's gonna uh, uh, make us perfect, man, upright, man, in, in the spirit of having with faith, man, in the Lord, man. You got it. Of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of Yahweh. All right, perfecting, man. All right, uh, in the fear of Yahweh, man. So you purging your, your, your spirit and your flesh, man. All right, because it says he that uh, rough and paraphrase somebody can get in and uh. Romans chapter 8, to be spiritual minded is, is life and to be carnal is death, okay? You know what I'm saying? I basically quoted it, but to be spiritual minded is life, man, all right? And spiritual, uh, uh, what is life is choosing the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. That go back to what? Seek, seek, seek life, man. And life is in Yahweh Shah, man. He is the, 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 life of, the light of life of all men, okay? You got it? Uh, this is Romans chapter 8, verse 6. For to... For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. All right, life and peace, man. All right, so seeking Yahweh shot, you're going to get life and peace with that, man. All right, because he's going to teach you in the ways to be, man. Anything else outside of, of, of that is death, man. All right, to be the, 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 uh, to be of your flesh is going to lead you to destruction, man. Going to have you, going to make, uh, going to lead you being broken to pieces, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Verse 7, it says, because the carnal mind is an enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So either being friend, being friends of the world make you an enemy, and being carnal minded make you an enemy unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. And those two things that you cannot be, man, are right, falling after the Lord. Come on, because the carnal mind goes contrary to, to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Because if you're carnal minded, you're going to be confined to this world, man. You're going to be uh, 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 pleased on how to how to increase yourself, all right? Instead of uh, instead of trying to figure out how to exalt the Lord Yahweh by some Yahweh side, you're going to be focused on uh, you're going to be focused on trying to exalt yourself rather than exalting the Lord, man. Focused on trying to fill your belly and trying, instead of trying to get out here and exalt the Lord Yahweh by some Yahweh side, man. Because the exalt the Lord is being obedient, man. Exalting the Lord is being obedient, and it will show with your actions, man. You got it, all right. <clears throat> This is John chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with the powers. All right, and that that, that word was, uh, in the beginning was the, uh, was God, which is the, uh, what is, uh, Yahweh, which is, well, no, Yahweh Shah, which is the word, all right, and also with the Alahayims, man, with the angels, all right, creating the uh, the heavens and the earth, man, okay? And he was, and Yahweh Shah was a power himself, all right? And, and the word was the power. The same was in the beginning with the powers. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made. And that goes made. Sorry. That goes with Colossians chapter uh, 1, verse 16, all the way down, how Yahweh Shai had created everything with the, with the angels, man. All right, but Yahweh get the platform, man, because he was the, the mastermind behind it all. Man. Okay? In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And that backed me up when I said that Yahweh Shai is the life of men, okay, the men of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you Israelite foreigners, man. He is the life unto us, man. And that's the only way that's gonna uh, lead you to eternal life is believing on him, man, the son. That go back into kiss he, kiss he the son unless he be angry, man, because he is the mediator between us and the father, man. We have to go through Yahweh Shah to get to Yahweh, man. That go back into what? Mark, Mark the perfect man. And when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, he was not celebrating these customs of, 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 of what these damn Romans was doing, man. All right, he was not following the uh, uh, Julian uh, uh, calendar, man. He was not doing none of that stuff, man. He was going, he, he was doing the will of the Heavenly Father. He was keeping the laws, commandments, and statutes. He was studying. He was doing what, what he was supposed to do, man. Yeah, and, and he would go out and teach on the Sabbath. Huh? They would keep the new, deal with the new moon. Mm -hmm. And they, they went by a market calendar, which was like eight days. So they still had a Roman paganized calendar going, you know, but he, he, he didn't take part in all that. He, he rented us to Caesar what was Caesar's, which was what, money. Come. 
He ain't want none of that. He, he said, yeah, pay, pay your taxes if you don't do that. Come on. All right, verse five. Yeah, because I, I, I just want to say that too, because most people, they'll try to throw out there and say, we don't honor the Sabbath, but the Lord, he taught on the Sabbath, man. Yep. You know, and we doing the same thing with our Lord there. I just want to throw that out there. Right. Yeah, he was, he was there. All right, verse five, it says, and the, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Come mm -hmm. The darkness comprehended it not, man. And that light is Yahweh He shined within darkness, man. All right, because uh, when he was on the scene, the Romans, which are the Edomites, they was, they was the, the mystery of iniquity, man. They was running everything, man, around that time period. And they still are, man, because America is Rome all over, all, all over again, man. All right, basically with that deadly wound that was healed was going back to the EU and NATO, man. Right, and what did he say? He said, uh, uh, you are the light of the world, man. Come. So we represent that light. Come. So the same darkness I didn't hear the Lord, that same darkness is here, and it won't hear us today. It won't comprehend us today. Okay. Voice. I, 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 got, I got a quick precept. Can somebody get this yep. scripture uh, in St. John chapter 12, start at verse 35, verse 40? All right, because yep. the this is how we are uh, um, the children of the light, man. All right, because once again, Yahweh Shah is that light, man. Right. Quick as you can, but Father Shah, whoever get it. Yes, chapter 12. St. John chapter 12, verse 35 to verse 40, Bubaka Shah. Right, this is St. John chapter 12, verse 34. The people answered him. The people answered him. We have heard out of the law that Hamashiach abideth forever. Huh. And how say of thou? The son of man must be lifted up. All right. And Yahweh Shah is, is going to be lifted up, man. Okay, right now he, he's on the right hand of the of the father, but he's gonna be exalted when he comes back down, man. Okay, by, by his by his men that believe in him. Okay, and he's and he's also being exalted as, as as well right now, man. So many camps uh, uh, around the globe on this earth is, is exalting Yahweh, the name of Yahweh and, and can you Yahweh. Shai. Can you imagine that? Yahweh Shai in the heavens, he, he on the right hand of the father, long suffering, waiting to get this kingdom, waiting to waiting to hear our praise. And out of nowhere, he just started hearing it. He started hearing us praying, praying to him. He started hearing that first prayer from right out of Bible to somebody. <laughs> you know, hear that? He started looking on the earth. He started seeing them candles light up. Cause our minds lit up. And you hear that mm. chant, and y'all about to see me out shot rocket thought. <laughs> he man, he up there probably hyped too, man. <laughs> you know, they say the angels rejoice. You know, when a brother coming to the truth. God. And Yahweh shot rejoicing with him. So he up there rejoicing, you know, and that's why it's good to pray, because you know he rejoices from it. Keep hmm. going, Bubaka Shah. Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. And that light is Yahweh Shai. It was referenced to itself that he was that light that was with them. Okay, that go back into uh where we have run out in um in first John, uh no, St. John's chapter one. All right, verse five in that area. All right, and then he was the light. Keep going, Bubaka Shah. Well, while ye have the light, these darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whether he go. Come on, keep going. What verse you at? 36. All right. While ye have light, believe in the light, that ye may be the children of light. All right, so he says, while ye have the light, believe in the light. And that light is Yahweh Shah, that ye may be what? The children of the light. And we are considered the children of the light, mm -hmm. which is the, the men that surround the globe, all right, that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We are the children of the light because why? He lit our candlestick, he lit our candlesticks, man, with his wisdom and knowledge and understanding, man. All right? You still more on that, Mubarak Shah? Uh -huh. These things spent Yahweh Shah and departed and uh -huh. did hide himself from them. And, and basically, every time when Yahweh Shah hid himself from everyone, he went to go pray unto the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, and that's very important to always, to always, to um, to separate yourself, okay, for a, a period of time from others, just to uh, pray and fast, man. All right, to, to build that connection, that spiritual connection with the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. Okay, who the world ignorant called Jehovah and Jesus Christ, which is the Father's true name is Yahweh and the Son's name is Yahweh Shah. Okay, all right, that was it on that. John 17 and 6. You know, y'all can take tag team. I have manifested thy name 
unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Right, your house shall be in the light, and we represent the light now. Thy, thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee. And they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are dying. All right, so we were we're the, we belong to Yahweh Shem Yahushai from the beginning, after he was created, and then we were created, and we helped create the universe. All right, so now he came back onto the scene to let us put us back in remembrance. Hey, yo, you were the children that were with me from before, right. and, and we and you know that I come straight from the Father, and you bear that same light that was given unto me from the Father. Right, Jeremiah one one. Uh, because the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites of the Holy Bible, man. Yahweh is the father's name. Yahweh Shai is the okay. son name. That is only the elect of them that are going to be able to bear that light. This, this is Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Oh, he said, why he knew you? Before you, spirit, was put inside that, that child, that body that you're in now, the Lord knew your spirit. You see that? So if you're a man of the Lord teaching here today, or a woman that's in this truth, then you were what? You were a believer back 2,000 years ago. All right? Go ahead. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So what does that mean to be set, sanctified? To be what? Set apart. So the Lord sanctified you, set you apart unto himself to be a prophet on this earth, just like you were in your past life. See that? All right? So it says what? John 17 and 11. And now, well, actually, verse 9. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world. The light, right? God. But these are in the world, and I am come to thee, O Holy Father. Keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are one. Woo. God, to be in agreement yeah. right, with the Heavenly Father and His Son. To keep, to keep these all of these minds in agreement with one mind. Yeah, I was trying. God. Instead of keeping all these minds in agreement with many other minds, confusion. Right. He, he brings us all into one mindset and agreement and faith under Yahweh Shai. When he says, let all teach the same thing. Right, so we can have that same direct light. So if you take light and you bend it, you see that? You take light and you shoot it. You take white light and you put it through a cup of a glass of water. Right, it's going to, you can separate the colors that way. Crazy rainbow. But if you take it, you beam it through another glass of water, it's going to stay the same. It's going to stay the same. That light won't stay straight. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Unless you put an object in the way, you got translucent object or an object obstacle. An obstacle is gonna block it. A, a, a translucent object is gonna be able to what? Transcend, translate that message, that light through itself. Right? Become part of the being. Become a prison for that light. Uh -huh. All right. So basically, when he went yeah, back, question. going back to the Tower of Babel, right, he put a blocking fort on the rest of the world where they couldn't be able to bear that light. Yep. And but he, but he left, he left some translucent objects to one group of individuals that that were around at that time, being which, which was Eber, right, and which created the Hebrews, which created Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yep. Which is <laughs> that go back to we Shemitic? Yep. All the way from Eber, all the way to Jacob, twelve tribes being the rainbow spread out. Uh, I have a question. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, you get here. We was vibing. This right here, right here. Oh, yeah. I already know about this, but however, I don't want to call y'all nothing about that. I just say it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta no, say it how you gotta say it, though. You know. Well, 
this is wrong up here. Oh shit. <laughs> no, no, I, I agree some of this, yes. Oh shit. Don't get me wrong. But some of it is a little What else you see wrong up there? No, yeah. We can get it fixed. Spanish. That's not part of us. Well, that's not part of it. So there's Persian. Roman. What is this though? What is this? Mesopotamian. But yeah, what what is this? You talking about the what? Is it part of what? Right here. No, part of what? The dragon. The dragon? Yes. What is the dragon? It's it's metaphorically showing how men's of the world Daniel twelve. Oh that's no, not that, not that. Oh, this is different from uh Nah, but wait, what's the door of your piece? Oh, sorry, I was just trying to explain it. I'm trying to explain it as best as I can, so. Yeah, you don't have to. But, <laughs> you know, listen. But, um, all of this, how it represents the country, Greek, British, right. all of that. Yes, there was 10. Belgium and Denmark, a little part of Europe. Roman. Yeah, I'm about to say, you're cutting yourself. <laughs> now, what war happened in, in 1700? Not the war. What was it, 17? 18, 18, 18, 18. Have y'all heard about the statue? 70 years old? You're talking about the statue of no, Tower of Babel? Yeah. Not, not Tower of Babel, the statue of Yeah, that one. See, that's yeah. different from that. It represents a little no, bit. No, I'm still stuck on the Spanish part. You said Spain and French and Britain. Now, I want to talk about that. Now, how did America get established? Nothing but colonizers. It was with three, these three, wasn't it? Yes, it was. The also, Spanish. The We're in Florida. They had they had Florida. I understand that, but I'm just I was thinking about like the Tower of Nebuchadnezzar. That's what I'm thinking about. Right, but on the on the statue of Nebuchadnezzar, right? At the end of the statue it speaks about three. That's the three. You can't get rid of them. They're part of they're part of that European Union, these three. France, Britain, and Spain. But how the iron feet get the part of play, yes, that represents Europe, mainly from Britain. Also, just saying, no, you're you're saying you're I, you're I was thinking about Daniel. Yeah, you got, you got the. Yeah, we talking, we talking about Daniel. We talking about Daniel. We talking about the statue of Daniel. The statue of Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel chapter two. Yep, he, he spoke about the statue from Assyria. What or right, what was the head of the statue? Nope. Nope. Was Nebuchadnezzar? What 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 nationality was Nebuchadnezzar? What's that? No, what nationality? Like, you know. Was he African? All right, cool. He was a Syrian. You know what a Syrian is? Well, Syrian, a Syrian is what? From Asher, right? Right, Asher. But Mesopotamian. That's where Ham went. Right. So that's different. Mesopotamia is a little lower. So I can rock with you wherever you want to go. I mean, no, Mesopotamia no. is a little lower. And those, you know what I mean? And those became what? The Phoenicians. Phoenicians were a lot of Africans and a lot of Syrian nations. So to say they were Mesopotamian is something different. What you would say is he's a Syrian. He's a, he was an Assyrian from the tribe of, of, of Asher. Right. But not Mesopotamia. Uh, Mesopotamia came uh, with his father's name, who? Repeat that one What was Nebuchadnezzar's father's name? Oh, no, no. That was Okay. Let the yeas be yay and your nays be nay. It's been a while since I've seen His dad's name was Nebuchadnezzar. And he the one that took over what we call Mesopotamia, Babylon. Northern Chaldea and Southern Chaldea. All right, he took that over in 626 BC, and that's how the Assyrians took over that area, and later called it Babylon, commemorating the Chaldeans that were already there in Mesopotamia, the Africans and the Syrians. Especially with that time when they tried to reach the heaven, knowing that God had the way that we can never reach. Well, that was that was years before, thousands of years before, with uh, Nimrod. That was like before Abraham. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. So you're just getting them mixed up. Time period. Yeah, it's just a little because I was thinking about it. I was like, Yeah, that's why you need the men. You gotta get, you gotta learn from the wind. The men. The men. The men. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you see anything? There's nothing wrong with that. There's no, no, no. I was just, I you, got a little confused. You would rather learn from us than to learn from them. You 
feel what I'm saying though? And they'll make you feel bad learning from us. Like who you, you learn from the, the so-called black man, Native American, you know what I mean? But we the ones that the Lord gave wisdom to. It's supposed to flow like that from the men to the women and then to the children. But everything's out of order now. So the Lord putting it back in order by what? Giving the men the wisdom in these last days. So y'all got to come to us to get edified and fill in those little blanks. You know what I mean? Not everybody. You got to try the spirit by the spirit. You know, because a lot of cats would have yelled at you by now and did all this crazy shit. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so we're not all like that, though. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. All right. But yeah, that's a good That's good that you're on that mindset, though, because there's a lot of sisters out here. You can't sit down and talk to them about this. It, it don't matter about you being wrong because you're willing to listen and conversate in, in the build. But imagine talking to another sister. It's like, yeah, you know about the dragon in the Bible? They're like, who? What? What? <laughs> you dragging me with this conversation. <laughs> right? So, but you got to find a man in the truth, a man of the Lord. You know? You got a husband? No? Boyfriend? That's cool. <laughs> YouTube, gave, YouTube pages on that flyer. Yeah. That you can follow has all that information. And you, hey, we always looking for sisters. You know, sisters. Not, you don't have to be a wife. But sisters, just, just to support. And, and, you know, but listen. Another sister in the city that just knows the truth. But connect with us. You know, lock in with us. All right? And you ain't got to be nobody's wife. I'm always asked because you got a lot of brothers up here. You know, some brothers single. And I, you know, I'm tired. I plug you in. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this one's good for you. Now. You know what I'm saying? All right? And plug in with it. Leave a, leave a message and get, get locked in. Any questions, throw your thoughts up there. And tell us who you were. You know, the sister that came out. What's your name? Oh, nickname? Lily. Lily? Lily, yeah. Okay, good news, Jay. Yeah, man, that's a good topic that, that, that you came up and said that. You ain't come up and talk about Esau or nothing, you know? What about this slavery side down here? You came up and talk about the, the dragon. But that shows where your mind is at. That's good. But uh, keep going, bro. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Splacky. My heart just fell to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lily, nice to meet you. Shalom. All right, uh, Any questions? You want to do a loop around? Come back again. It's all good. Right. No problem. No problem. Yeah, uh, Saint John, my hand got stuck to the Bible. It's just cold. It's just cold. Chilly, chilly weather, man. All right, you can bring out the Zephaniah. Go park the shop. All right, this is Zephaniah chapter two, verse three. Seek ye the Lord, all. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. All right, all ye meek of the earth, man. And when you go into that word meek, right there. In the Hebrew, it's going to say, I know, all right? Basically, be meek or humble, man. Okay? All right, so, which have wrought his judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Because we are uh, coming in a time to where the Lord is going to heap up things on this earth so he can be able to crack open the skies and bring, and bring vengeance upon this place, man. Right? So it's best for you to seek Yahweh Bashim Shai and to listen to his men that he has set up the, right. around the globe that's teaching this word and um, to be obedient so you can be hid and be protected and have mercy upon in the day when he coming back pissed off, man. Right. You see that sister that had no problem learning from the men. For real. She didn't get offended. She didn't get offended or nothing. You know? That's, 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 that's some, there's some sincere women out here, man. Uh, and it was just yeah. one small minor thing that the elder just pointed out. Right, she was getting that mixed up with, you know, Daniel uh, twelve and uh, Daniel two. Yep. Right, but it was just one. He had to get. He went all the way back to the root. You know, at the average sister that comes up that think they know something would have been like, oh no, 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 and walked off. Yeah. But she sat there with the open mind, able to receive the things that were being said. And, yeah. and that can also go back to the scripture of being, um, be humble as a child, man. You got to be willing to be. Uh, to accept when you're wrong, man, and to be able to be edified, man, and that's a that's a lot, that's a that's a big problem in in, in the nation of Israel when they are wrong and they don't want to accept when they are wrong so they can be edified, man. And the thing about it, she actually admitted that she was wrong. Like she didn't want to even carry on with the conversation. She said, oh my bad, I was wrong. And the elder was like, Nah, nah, wait a minute, let's go back, let's go all the way back to the to the to the beginning. 
<laughs> to show you where you went wrong at, you know? Second Timothy is 2 and 23. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid. And that wasn't a foolish question. Uh, it's actually a surprising question for a woman to come up and ask about the dragon with seven heads and ten horns. Right, right man. Yeah. Right. Knowing that they do render gender strifes. It just brings up what? You arguing with like Esau last week. Yeah. Or with another sister that came up like, why y'all got that on? Why y'all out here? You know, we get that. So when right. that happens, we don't deal with that. Why you got a bitch? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it says what? And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men apt to teach. Patient. Now, so think about it. Just think about it. If we would have went head to head with that guy last week and somebody saw it all off in the distance, they're not hearing the... Um, they're not hearing the, the nature of the con conversation. All they're seeing is the actions that looks like aggressive people going back and forth. Ooh. So now we're being labeled just like those individuals from people that stand up far off that don't really know what's going on. Right. I mean, I made Babaka shot. It says also what? Apt to teach, apt man. To teach. So huh. that's being being patient to apt to teach, man. Yeah. Huh. To be able right. to, to deal with that, that you know, the difficulties of trying to deal and, and well, dial, dialect, if I'm saying dialect with the individual trying to teach them. Yeah, they're, hearing, they're hearing the sickness of our people. So you right. can heal them. You know, that's why the scriptures say a soft answer turns away wrath. Uh, not meaning, oh, oh, no, no. Meaning, if you have enough wisdom, you know how to. You know how to. You know how to direct the conversation right. to to keep the emotions down. Right. You see what I'm saying? But without wisdom, you cannot give that soft answer because you're going to become aggressive just like they are. Right. It says. It says in meekness, and in, in, watch it. Take this. In meekness, instructing those. That oppose themselves. Right. So they what? Without your house, you being Gentiles in the world, right. as we were. If Yahweh peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, so that sister might get repentance through the acknowledging of the truth someday. And that's our goal. That's what you want. That's what you should want. All right, now yeah, I'm gonna come out and rebuke you, damn people. I want to see you destroyed. I hate you, niggas, and all this negative shit. A nigga bitch and all this uh, <laughs> yeah. and like the scriptures say a lot of women gonna be delivered too uh, it, even um in, in matthews uh yahweh shah says there's gonna be a lot of heartless that should enter into the kingdom heartless yeah heartless kind yep. now it says oh no go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Sure? Yeah. 26 and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil meaning being brought back and repent to recover themselves, be brought back to who they are, Israelites. All right, from the devil, from their deception, being deceived by the devil, yeah. who are taken captive by him at his will. All right, so they're getting devoured by the devil on a daily basis. And so when people come up to us and they're walking around in torments, you know, they're going to spew out all kind of stuff, man. And that's our job to kind of be ready and apt to teach. All right, and, and judge the difference of what you're going to deal with, like a doctor or yeah. physician. All right, it's because we actually uh, we are a physician, and this word will help us to be able to heal the heal um, the minds of our people. Yeah, right, and that shows a spiritual power in itself, man. Healing them with the truth, man, and not with lies, because all our life we've been uh, uh, was told lies, man, by the devil himself and by two thirds of our people that was uh, deceived, man. Yep, yeah. and they're waking up out of that sleep. Revelations 11 and 8, right? We don't have to get this cool, but we represent the first fruit, Yahweh Ratazah. So who are we to look at our people and just be like, ah, whatever, he's dumbass, he's just stupid. You know, they're not stupid. It's just, um, it's about who got to the water first. And that's just it. Who got to the water first, you know? And that's, that's that deals with calling. Who got called first? Because it says, That's right, the, the scripture said, uh, boast not against the branches, man. That's right, man. Because right? a lot of people, you know, they get this truth and they get on their high horse and they get exalted when they, uh, you know, got exalted real quick and easy. You know, they get on that high horse and they look down upon their people. The, when the Lord was on the scene, he didn't look down upon his people. He wanted them to repent and to bring them back to the Father. He was healing them, man. Yep. You know, even though he got on the wicked Pharisees and, and, the, and the Sadducees, I'm saying it right, uh, he got on them, but still, he was here to, to heal, man. Yep. Okay, and we are sitting here, what, a sheep amongst wolves. So we are here also in the same, 
in the same mindset of, of healing our people with this word. Right. That's just like the brothers that was looking at Yahweh Shah when he was talking to that lady. You know that when he healed him. Um about the lady daughter who was played with demons. Yeah. Oh, the woman that came in. Huh? Okay. Yeah, so, but the, the lady by the well. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Right. yeah. And also um um the woman he healed of her blood, the, the, the blood issues, the tested garment. You know, and over and over again, when uh, Mary Magdalene blessed him with the oil. Yeah, that was just about to get that. Yeah, Jake was bugging all the time, like, Lord, do you let him talk? Do you let her talk to you? Let her, she's a whore, and all this mess. And, and then and the Lord kept saying, that. He said, "You without sin, cast the first stone." And then, and then he gave the story about the two creditors. All right, all right. He, he gave a parable saying, like, which one will be more grateful? The one that only committed one sin, or the one that committed a multitude of sins of for, in forgiving. Right, so we gotta uh, understand what our sick, our people are, what their sickness is. All right, so the thing about it, once you're able to be forgiven of something, because a lot of people, our problem, you hear Jake say all the time, man, I gotta get right so I, before I turn to the Lord. Bro, turning to the Lord is the first step to getting right. You know what I'm saying? It's like I gotta get healed before I take this medicine. Yo, you dumb, <laughs> this is Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit spoiled after like the this right, be spoiled like a rotten apple Con. Right. after the tradition of men yep. after the rudiments of the world and not after Mashiach so the tradition of men that's been taught by Esau and these heathens is these pagan holidays man all right, your, your Thanksgiving, which that's a slaughter of uh, the, the uh, Reubenites and also the uh, uh, Gadites, all right, which is our of our people. And um, what else? You got uh, Halloween, that's wicked. You know, that's basically a, a, a witch demonized day. You dress up uh, whatever character, a demon that you want to be on that day. That's wicked in itself. You got uh, Christmas, which is that go back into a, a, a pagan idol, Nimrod penis, that tree, all right. And, and many, many other more, man. All Come right, on, because dude. we're going to be after this, this wicked pagan holiday go on. We're going to be condemning another one that's going to come up, man. It's forever go long going in this society, man. So this society teaches tradition after men, all right, but not after the, but not after Hamashiach. But he set up his men that's on this earth to teach you other ways of Hamashiach, man. All right, well, knowledge and understanding, man. Go back to uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter three, verse fifteen. This is Mark chapter 7, verse 7. How be it in vain do they worship? How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men? And that's what these, ultimately, that's what these pastors, uh, pork chop, all right, where they be teaching these hell holes, man, in the churches, man. They teach you of a uh, uh, tradition of men. They don't teach you yeah, after the, the ways yeah. of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You get what I'm saying? So, all right, keep going. For laying aside the commandments of Yahweh, ye hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like the, such like things ye do. All right, and that's still what our people do to this present day, man. You know, they 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 are uh, respectful of persons, but the, the according to the scriptures. All right, we don't supposed to be a respectful person in judgment, man. All right, in righteous judgment. And this is righteous judgment to, to warn our people and, and telling them to repent and to turn back to the, the ways of old, the righteous, the righteous way, man. All right, and depart from this place, man. And two thirds of our people are respectful of persons because of the simple fact, because well, the, what the gift of that, that Esau gave them is destroying their heart. All right, Esau has a, has, a, has a plan in their mind that they can get some type of status in this kingdom right here. But it wasn't set up for us to be able to be able to come up in this kingdom, right? So, so, so they they come in with that perverse uh, way of thinking, you know, and they they come up against the truth. They're not able to receive the truth, man, because they're being a respecter of person. They don't want to get to the root of the problem. So when we say Esau is the devil, they oh, fill up. Hey, we'd have caught that case. I'd have been down there with you. Right. <laughs> I'd have gone. We'd have caught that lawsuit for real. Yeah. Yeah, I got some of that lawsuit money. We'd, we'd have had it on camera, too. All right, good. <laughs> good. All right, All right. So on, please. This is verse 9 of Mark, uh, chapter 7. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandments of Yahweh, 
that ye may keep your own tradition. And that's what ultimately what two thirds of our people do, man. All right? That go that go back to what? Uh, 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 Hosea four and six, man. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. Gone. Because what it says one more time about the shot. Gone. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of Yahweh, that ye may keep your own tradition. All right, and uh, that go ahead. Somebody get that scripture in um. In second Ezra, they should be in pitiful case. All right. They that loaf my law. Because that's what that's going to tie into. You got it? You got it. This is second Ezra chapter 9, verse 10. Verse 9. God. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they have cast away despitefully, shall dwell in torment. All right. Two thirds of our people, these pet, these pork chop eating pastors. All right. These are uh, even some of these uh false teachers that's of that's in Israel, man. All right, they're gonna be in pitiful case, man. That's loafing the law of Yahweh by Shimei man. All right, keep going, Baruch It says, it says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, God, because uh, he that say he know the Lord and keep not his commandment is a liar, man. Keep going, Baruch It says, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and as when yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it the same must know it after death by pain and how are you going to know by that death by pain is by the nuclear missiles that's going to get shot off 200 million million missiles that's going to get shot off that's prophesied in the scriptures man that's what's going to make that lake of fire man because the, the bible is the book of prophecies man all right so it's prophesied for america to be destroyed in the bible man all right it's going to be destroyed in one hour all right and the lord is not a, a, a power that lied man Okay, go back. Next. Somebody get Romans chapter 3, verse 3, but Baruch Hashem. I got a precept. You got it. All right, so so if you are receiving benefits, man, or you are coming up in, on this side, man, uh, turn your heart towards your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, because you might be with somebody that can help other brothers out that are less fortunate than you. This right. is uh, Sirach chapter 26, verse 4. It says, whether a man be rich or poor, if he have a good heart towards the Lord, he shall at all times rejoice with a cheerful countenance. Because he's going to have wisdom. All right? He's going to understand these riches that he has is nothing. And he's going to be, he ain't going to be out here buying cars and rims and stuff like that. He's going to what? You're doing something to push the faith, man. Using right. that money for going to city. I know brothers that go city to city just to teach because they can afford to do it. You know? But that's using it wisely. It, 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 not abusing the world. You know what I'm saying? Just using it, you know what I'm saying? To the benefit, to help his word, man. Yeah. This is the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? All right, so if you think that uh, all the things that, that prophesied in these scriptures, the promises, the covenant, and, and judgment that's going to come back to this place, if you think that that's not going to happen and you disbelieve it, all right? It's, it's not going to have no effect, man. Keep going, Babaka Shah. Yahweh forbid. Yea, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar. All right? Because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah are true, man. All right? And you and, and, and you say otherwise, you are considered a liar, man. All right? You are uh -huh. considered a liar. Because we are justified by the sayings of the words of the Holy Scriptures, man. We're not going by our own words. We're going by the script that was given unto us, which is this comforter that was sent to comfort us in these troublous times, man. All right? Uh, and if I may add on, man, go back to the topic of this lesson, man. If you feel like uh, uh, these things that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has spoken of, they're not going to come to pass, that show that you confounded to this world, man. All right? So with that being said, you're going to have to be uh, wiped away right along with this place, man. All right? Why? Because your mind is in this place, all right? Instead of on the uh, instead of on the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? That? Instead What's of being that? focused focused on the kingdom. What's that? That's Amos, what, 9 and 9? Yeah. said that the evil shall not overtake and prevent us. Somebody can get it, but Shah. That's what, that's what the mindset two-thirds of our people in. They don't believe the Lord for the show up. Somebody can get the scripture book off your shelf. Why not, right? This is Amos chapter 9. Hold on one second. Come on, this is Amos chapter 9. Verse, I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. We say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Right, and that's why they ignore the that's why they ignore the voice of the Lord, which are the men that come out here in sincerity and truth 
the prophesied downfall of this kingdom. We're telling you this kingdom is about to fall. All right, the elder does videos like once a week to showing you how to how to the market's crashing, showing you the trend of the crash, but nobody wants to pay attention to it. You know, everybody wants to despise it and act like nothing's gonna happen to this place. They actually think that Esau's kingdom is gonna continue forever, man. That's the that's the mindset of Esau. Oh, and, and, and that's also being confounded to this world once again, man. Because Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. All right, so therefore, you falling up under uh, Esau. Because Psalms 49 and 11, they feel like they're, uh, matter of fact, let me grab it real quick. All right, this is Psalms chapter 49, verse 11. It says, their inward thought is that the houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their land after their own names. Come on, that's uh, 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 pertaining to Esau. But uh, uh, two thirds of our people are somehow up under that same spirit, man. They feel like the society is going to go on forever and ever, man, uh, to, to all generations, man. Oh, I got to make it, you know what I'm saying? So, so my family can eat, you know what I'm saying? I got to show my uh, kid this, that, and the third. Show them what this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. They, they can make it through this, all right? All right. That the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shines their hope. That the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shines their faith, all right? And that is our way out, all right? Through the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shines. Next scripture, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 6, with Mark Shaw. Jeremiah 51 is... Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. All right, and America is spiritually Babylon, man. All right, Babel just means confusion. All right, the Hebrew word Babel just means confusion. So America is the land of confusion, man. It's not but confusion in here in America, man. That's why it's known as Babylon in the scriptures, man. All right, and the end result of this place is going to be uh, destroyed, desolate, eradicated, okay? Be not cut off in her iniquity. So he's speaking unto his people, all right, be not a cut off in her iniquity, which is that go back, somebody get Revelation for Bible shot 18 verse 4, all right? How the ones that's not going to be cut off in her iniquity go back to the 144,000 men that's going to be taken up in the chariots, man. All right, they're not going to receive of that plague that the Lord is going to bring. Uh, 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 to America, which is the nuclear missiles. You got to go back and shout. Yeah. It's a Reve Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye that ye receive not of her plagues. Kind. That's going to be the elect that's going to be taken up. And that plague, that ultimate plague that's going to uh, come to the shores of America is some 200 million missiles that's going to get shot off and, and destroy this land, man. Because the ones... That's not going to uh, be destroyed. They're going to be uh, fleeing from this place uh, uh, spiritually, mentally, not right. actually going like how GOCC try to say you uh, get a passport and leave. Man. Nah, man. You order that. Nah. You got to be in danger in order for the Lord to save you from it. And I also uh, go back to having trust and faith, man. Right. Go on. Read in Second Ezra chapter thirteen. So the ones that are left left behind are 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 more blessed than the ones that are that are escaped. Go on. You know? And also in Second Ezra chapter sixteen, it says, "Thou shalt desire to go into the city, and thou shalt not be able to, man." So without all that fleeing, you won't be able to go, man. Also going back to Amos chapter five, all right. Ooh. As if one did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, all right. So with that, in that day, death is going to be inevitable, man. So therefore, man, you can't run from the Lord Yahweh by shooting your side. That bullet got your name on it, man. Yeah, that's deep. Cause I was gonna say, you take your ass over to the Middle East and get hit by a damn car. <laughs> 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 you did all that running just to go. Meet death. That's the meet death. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on in. <laughs> come on in. Right, trip on a piece of glass and cut a fucking artery, some artery or something. <laughs> you get on the plane, <laughs> you see the Grim Reaper sitting in the back. What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you got a couple more minutes. Got you, you got a couple more minutes, man. You got two more seconds. I'm going to get hey, you. Hey, you want me to buy a drink? <laughs> It's, it's kind of like that that movie Final Destination, man. God, God. It's like you can't escape death. Well, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is like that. Yahweh Shai, um, al right? You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, al is is basically like Final Destination. I might say it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Muslims. All right? You know, have all kind of torments, and you say uh, uh, death happens to every person, man. Chance, chance happens to every person, meaning it's something that comes upon you. You can be living your every or everyday life, and then the Lord can intervene and, and, and cast death upon you, man. You just be looking at Him. 
in the spirit room. <laughs> <laughs> you do fuck them. Kind of. you just, like you said, like off the final destination. Everybody around those kids was just living like regular. They were just like, oh, some crazy ass kids. I'm right. Some dumb shit. Like the spirit, whatever spirit I was trying to get him, the spirit of W. How was shot? He wasn't focused on nobody else but those kids. Just like uh, in um, in uh, in Exodus, in uh, the time of, in Egypt, the spirit was only sent for those uh, for right. the for the for the oldest, for the firstborn. Yep. Nobody else. Everybody else was cool except for the firstborn of everything. Right. Well, the, everyone uh, of Israel was cool because they had that, that blood of the lamb that was on their door. The door. Right. We All represent right. those doorposts now. Come. The blood of the Yahweh shot. Come. It's what we're covered with. Lord willing, I'm part of that number. Come. You keep going on, Jeremiah. Come. Come. Jeremiah chapter fifty-one, verse six. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. One more time at the end. Gone. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. The Lord's vengeance is going to come into this realm. All right. And he's going to destroy everyone that's not of his, man. If you're not of the elect, all right, you're going to perish, man. Two thirds of our people in these heathens, man. All right. You and that spirit do as thy will. All right, you're going to perish in his vengeance, man. All right. He will render unto her a recompense. All right. And what, what's going to be that recompense, that payback that he's going to recompense unto America is the nuclear missiles. And the reason why they're going to get paid back by the Lord, because what? They have touched the apple of, of his eye, man, his people. All right. They have shed so much blood all right, on, the, on the shores of this land, man. Okay. Because this, this America was established by blood. And, 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 and Esau, <laughs> sorry, love blood, and they're gonna be pursued by blood, man. I'm just laughing at this guy, man. Well, I thought it was a 50 year old black lady. I think like Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton making sense. Yeah, that. I'm like, um, you look like I'm listening to this guy. I thought it was a young guy. Remember when John John had got his head done like that? Yeah. This Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now. That I, even I, am He, and there is no God, meaning power, with me. That's Yahweh, I was shot. Right. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And that's what make him. That would that would make him uh, a terrible man. Right. None can deliver you out of His hand. He He set the 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 uh, whether you die or whether you live. Man. Yep. Come on. It says, for I, for I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. You can one more verse for Shah? Yeah, why not? If I wet my glittering sword, <laughs> my hand take hold on judgment. And that glittering sword represents the nuclear missiles, man. All right? And that's going to be the ultimate judgment of this place. <laughs> man, oh shit. That's gonna be the ultimate. Yeah, that's gonna be the ultimate judgment that's gonna come upon this place. That glistening sword with the nuclear missile. If I if I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies. And we'll we'll reward them that hate me. Ooh, Ooh so that go back to what we were talking about to be a friend of this world, enmity to be carnal mind is, is enmity, basically an enemy unto the Lord, and that basically show that you hate him. So that go back and say, if you hate his men, that means you hate his son and you hate the father, and you an enemy, and he's gonna he's gonna prepare the nuclear missiles and preserve you to to receive that judgment because why you hated him and you was an enemy. Right. Two thirds of our people, all right. Uh, you, you men, you women, all right? E even the children, they not with it, man. Because all that don't seek the Lord, whether small or great, is going to be put to death, man. Right, mm. what's, the, what's the enemy? The Lord is a righteous power, all right? And he's the truth, the spirit of truth. So what's the enemy to truth? Lies. So what's the enemy to righteousness? Wickedness. That's how you understand who, who's his enemies, period. Mm. Right? Mm. Go ahead, Paul. Oh, and, and, and also in there, man, it say, uh, uh, there's neither any that can deliver out of his hand, man. So therefore, if you're going contrary to the Lord, y'all by Shemir outside, it's no, it's not going to be no getting away from that judgment that you have coming for you, man. All right. And uh, I got a quick precept. It's uh, Amos chapter five, verse 18. All right. We'll touch the bases on the earlier. It says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord 
to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and the bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. So not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. Come on, man. So what, that being said, it say, uh, 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 the, uh, no man can deliver you out of his hand, man. So therefore, whether you're here or there, you cannot escape from that death, man. All right? Death is going to be inevitable. All right? So if the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is after you, all right, he's going to get you, man. There's no running about it. You no running away from him. For real. Death, death more, more you, vicious you, than you, child you, support, you. boy. You know, child support will find you anywhere. But death worse than that, boy. Like, for real. <laughs> Damn. That's like, one way. Oh, no, no. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Get you. The Lord going to get you, man. Y'all can't, man, it is documented. Everything that you do, as of even right now, is being documented by the angels, man. Right, and they go yeah. back uh, uh, speedily uh, and diligently until the Heavenly Father and His Son reports of what's going on on this present earth, man. And, and it's also been documented by these other nations. Every time Allah just shows up, it's, it's, it's been recorded about, you know what I'm saying, how he come down and bring his wrath down on the people, man. Right. Like these, these, these people just in this time have forgotten the days of old. We're coming back into remembrance of the days of old. That's why we have this fear upon us. Right. Oh, he came and docu basically the Lord documented his presence in the spirit and he documented his presence in history in the carnal realm oh. by moving things in the spirit and moving things in the, in the carnal realm. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, and, and just like the brother was speaking on, man, people people have forgotten, man. Just like you said a post the other day. Oh, that was during biblical days. Well, what days are these, man? All right. The one thing about the Bible is a book of past, present, and future, man. All right. So therefore, we living in these times. We living in those biblical times right now as we speak, as we breathe, man. Yep. <laughs> the last of them. Yep. We're not on a different earth, man. Same earth. Same earth. Mm -hmm. And that's crazy when people always try to say, oh, those are biblical times. Well. Well, damn, let's go back to them times. <laughs> people were living back down there a thousand years old then. You can't even live 30 minutes now. So it's like, <laughs> why not go back to those times, I'm man? Telling. Golly, it's like people just don't get it. They'll say the dumbest stuff out of their mouth, man, and not realize what they're saying to themselves, man. You drop the mic and walk over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> families, families was more bigger. Mm -hmm. It was more peaceful in the household. It was more instruct, uh, instructed in, in order. Yeah, it yeah. followed a lot of the Gadites over here. A lot of the Gadite tribes had multiple wives. Huh. You know, they had tribe, tribal, they was tribal living, man. That's why when this dollar collapses, it's gonna go back to that. <laughs> tribal living. You know, have women that understand in that day, like, oh shit, this is this, 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 uh, scary out here in the jungle. Mm -hmm. I'll be your wife. That's what they're gonna say. I'll be willing. Can I, can I get a uh Quick precept to back you up. This is Isaiah chapter four. I'm gonna start at verse verse one. So like you. Oh, yeah. It says, "In that day, seven women shall take hold on one, of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, meaning their shame, man. Yeah, look at that seven again." Con. And seven just mean completion. So you, it, it could be more than seven, man. Yeah. You get the tip, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd use your hand. <laughs> you gonna wear your own, take it, what you say, wear your own apparel? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, baby, you ain't here to think, you here to use that hand. <laughs> you go everywhere with me. <laughs> I ain't getting no goddamn check. Yeah. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 110, verse 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties and holiness from the womb of the morning. Gone. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. Gone. So our people going to be willing in the day of thy power, man. All the scoffing and walking they doing now. All right, when that time comes. Oh yeah, they're gonna be with the program there, yeah, man. All right. So what does that set? That sets patience in us and keeps us from what? Turning into bullies towards the people. That makes us say, that makes us say what? We gotta trust the process. Right? We gotta trust his process. He's saying the harvest is gonna happen. Trust me. That's all we gotta wait for. Just do his will, order it the way he say water it, and it's gonna happen. And they will be willing in that day. We just gotta wait till that day. Let patience out for perfect work. Yes. 
being um being being in this uh this this ministry, it, patience always going to be um patience like the number one thing that's on the charts. But being in this ministry is uh it require you to be patient and um to to, to uh, stay balanced. It, 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 it keep you in that mindset. From what I'm trying to say. Yeah, man. Hey, shit. Uh, keep him in the spirit of your house, y'all. Yeah. Come on. You know? Because he's in the spirit of patience and long suffering. Yeah, because he wants to get back. He can't wait to get down here and, and bust them skies wide open just to show, just to, just to say, I told you so. Yeah. I told you. I told you I was yeah. coming. And, and to see righteous. He say what? They, uh, they, uh, they uh, desire a new heaven and a new earth. Oh, I get that. Where that was all of righteousness. Yeah. This is the new heaven and the new earth. the first one that felt this. You know, to, to seek this. All right, this is uh looking for a this, new heaven. This is uh can somebody get Hebrews 13 and 14 to Babaka Shah? This is 2 Peter chapter uh 3. I'm gonna start at verse uh 13. It says, Nevertheless, we according to his promise look for New heavens and a new earth were in the world of righteousness. Right, so Yahweh Shah is looking for that same promise. All right, he was hoping for the promise of being lifted up, risen back up, resurrected, and, he, and the Most High kept his promise to him. So he's hoping that same promise for us to be resurrected in these days, for the nation of Israel to be resurrected. All right, for us to, us to be lifted up and given new bodies and be with him where he is. You see that? So this is all in his spirit too. To, to, to see a new heaven and a new earth where in dwell of righteousness, man. Esau. To see Esau on the bottom and, and, and his people on the top. That's what he wants. Yeah. Go ahead. Go on, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 14. <laughs> for we have for here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Right. And that continuing city, but we have no place in the society right here, man. We don't have any. The only thing we have that can continue on is our works that we do on this on, on, on for this truth, man. But as far as having a physical continual city here, but we look for one. And what is that? New Jerusalem, man. Right. The kingdom. The kingdom that's gonna last forever. This kingdom is what wicked. Wickedness cannot last forever. Right. A, a, a divided kingdom. A um, cool. confused kingdom. It's clear that it has an end. Righteousness lasts forever. That's eternal. Like the Lord's word. So the word dwells within us, and he gives us the laws, we'll last forever, eternally, upon this earth in righteousness. And that's what we desire. Good precept. Good, this is Isaiah chapter 62. I'm going to start at verse 6, but the point is in 7. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Right, right. So what the walls represent? North, east, west, and south. Protection, covering. All right, a, 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 um, a, 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 a cutting off, a, um, a sanctity, sanctuary, to sanctify something, right? To cut it off from the rest of the world and cover it. All right, go ahead. It says, and give him no rest until he establish and until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Right, right. And that's what we're waiting on, man, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. Okay. You know, starting with uh, Yahweh Shah getting, the, getting first div and then his men behind him, man. Yeah, he so, wants want the same thing. Huh? So we, we waiting on that, you know, and we're seeking that, that righteous kingdom to be established on this earth because we know that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed, man. So we at the end of this realm, this age. Going into a new age, man, a new time, man. And it's going to be way better than this, man. And to be a part of this history, to be a part of uh, one of that number of his elect that's going to be taken up, that's the great feeling to be, ever. To man. be part of his story. Con, to be a, our story. Con. Get to mm. go in the book of life, it's going to be documented forever. <laughs> it's like, you know, that's better than anything, man. That's better than a, a new record. That's, that's better than that. It's better than, we, we want that W, man. <laughs> we want that W. We want that. We want the best record. We want to be better than the Patriots in, 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 in Alabama and all this BS, man. We 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 we, we gonna be the top uh, uh, number ones, man. Right, the only ones, man, that's gonna be running this realm, man. 
Right, with, with your Howard shot and rulership. Huh? Under your, your under your Howard shot, we shall be the celebrities in the kingdom, man. Like 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 we'll be your Jay Z's and your Michael Jordans and all that, man. Because <clears throat> because what because our works that we're doing here right now, man. All right, it says their works shall follow you, man. The works are gonna follow us all the way into the kingdom, even the ones that die on this side in the truth. He's gonna be glorified from that point. Okay, and may I get right quick since you said that if you do, because if you die in this truth, man, your works is gonna follow you. Yep. This is uh this is uh Revelation chapter 14. I'm gonna start at verse 13. First, I'm gonna start at verse 12. Here is the, the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandment of Yahweh in faith of Yahweh Shah. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, All right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Awashah, from henceforth, yea, self the spirit, that they may rest from the, their labors and their works do follow them. So whether you pass in this truth, your works is going to follow you. Because he says what? He's not going to forget your labor of love, man. And those that, that pass in this room, all right, they're going to come back with Yahweh shot, man. All right, they're going to be uh, uh, um, getting themselves decked out, getting prepared to come in the chair to come get his men from off this earth. Lord, whether we pray that we are those men, man. To know that you you are a part of something that's great, all right, great, great, uh, uh, greater than ever, man. All right, to know that you're going to be uh, really a part of the real um, Hall of Fame, man. All right, this is the book of Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Kind so the suffering that we suffer now is not nothing compared to what we're going to receive, man. All right. It says, uh, uh, uh roughly paraphrasing Peter, uh, better, um, and, and it's going to be revealed from within us. Kind that joy, that light, right? That pure wisdom once you get your new body. I got, I got it. So, you know, so the Lord going to reveal that joy through you. Huh. The same way he's revealing that light, that truth through you now. He's going to reveal his joy in the kingdom through you. Huh. And, 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 and quick interjection. And the suffering that we're going through, man, that's just add on and make it more uh, joyous once we receive that reward, man. Because we fought so hard and did to get that reward. All right. This is First Peter chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse 14. It says, but... And if ye suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terrors, neither be troubled, man. All right? So we're supposed to take this uh, 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 as joyful of suffering for righteousness sake because the end result is is, is uh, a great recompense with it, man, the kingdom, man. All right? So I'm going to skip down to verse 17. For it is better if the will of Yahweh be so, man, that what? Yahweh Bashmi Shai will be done, man. It says that ye suffer for well doing than, than for evil doing. And two thirds of our people, they're going to suffer for evil doing because why? They, they stayed uh, of the custom of the heathens, man. All right. They, they uh, became an em uh, enemy unto the Most High by being uh, friends of this world and also being carnal mind, man. All right. Listen to this damn devil, which is Esau, man. All right. You got two options. On the negative side, you're either going to remain in the congregation of the dead or you're going to become a scoffer. Uh, you got the other option on the righteous side, two options to either fight for the truth or be a person that just claimed to be in the truth and hide your candlelight. Have the light behind it. See that? Yeah. So, that's, yeah. Yeah. Now you get really good. That's called stealing. <clears throat> if he gives you the light and then you hide it, you know, because you got a chance to you know, you know, do the work and usher in the kingdom. <clears throat> but you chose not to. This is the book of Sharon. Chapter 20, verse 30. Wisdom that is hid and treasure that is hoarded up. What profit is in them both? That's the question mark. So basically, you know what I'm saying? Wisdom that is hid and treasures that's hoarded up. You know, what's the profit of that, man? If you hide in the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? He said, if you love me, feed my lamb. So if you're not getting out there and he give you all the tools that you need to plow the field, you know what I'm saying? He he's basically basically is gonna you're gonna be like that wicked servant that's hit hit his Lord's money in the earth. I got you. Yes, yeah. This is our Matthews chapter 25. And uh I'm gonna start at verse uh I'm gonna start at verse 13. 
It says, watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of, of Man come. It says, for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who call his own servants and deliver unto them his goods. All right, because we got the Lord's goods that he gave unto us, which is these talents that he uh, gave unto us and blessed us to be able to go out and teach. So if you had in that talent and the goods that he gave unto you, you are what? Stealing, man. Bro, he, you have a shot in the sin, but he came out here so delivering them unto us, man. You know? <clears throat> and that's humble. That's meekness for a king of God to come down off his throne and come down into the earth and deliver these secrets to us, to warn us of the future events and to prepare us for the future. That's a beautiful thing, man. Verse 15. And Unto one he gave five talents, and to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several right. abilities, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he um, also gained other two. But so you got mm -hmm. you got different vari variations of the spirit in this truth, man. Some 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 people have uh, diff they, everybody has different gifts. All right, so but you were given if you enter into this truth, you were given something, a talent uh, from Yahweh by Shimei was shy. All right, it's all according to how you use it, what, and what how you utilize it, and what you do with it. Right. It says, but he that received one went and dug in the earth and hid his Lord money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants come and reckon with them. Because that's what the Lord is going to uh, um, gonna reckon with us, man. All right. Everyone that he uh, uh, blessed with his wisdom and knowledge and understanding to go out and teach, he's going to uh, uh, hold us accountable to that. He's going to see what we have been doing, what he have blessed us with, man. And just to back up with that brother, that one day he, he mentioned, he dug his talent. He dug his, he hid it, man. All right. He put it in the ground, man. So knowing that the Lord gave you saying you hide it and you didn't do nothing with it, he gonna feel some type of way, man. It's just plain simple. He that uh, 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 know my will, the will of my father and do it not should be meet, beaten with many stripes, man. Okay? So you, as me as a child, I never liked ass whoopers, man. <laughs> you know, I used to run from my mom. She chased my ass all around the house. But hey, I don't like ass whoopers, carnally or spiritually, man. But, so I wanna be saved. <laughs> I don't know, I can't speak for nobody else, but hey, man, you know, and I'm pretty sure the brothers don't want to, they don't want no ass whooping from the Lord either, man. So, hey, man, that's why we out here, because we fear the Lord. You got it. Well, this is back at the book of Sharok, chapter 20, verse 31. Better is he that hide of his folly than a man that hide of his wisdom. Uh, so it's better for you to hide your folly than for you to hide your wisdom, man. So it's better for you to hide that mortal man all right, then for you to get out here and hide your wisdom, all right? Because uh, 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 what, what's the scripture in Matthew? Uh, is a uh, 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 candle that's lit. I got you. Uh, the water, man. <laughs> this is uh, Matthew chapter five. I'm gonna start at verse. I'm gonna start at verse uh, fourteen. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill, hide. It says cannot be hid. Uh, we are the light of the world, man. So we're we're, we're that spectacle of the world, man. So we're. Our, our whole duty is to get out here and shine, man. Be that light into the world. Be that example, man. All right. It says, neither do a, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it give light unto all that are in the house. Come on, man. So neither do a man light a candle and hide it under a bushel, man. So you light that candle, man. You got to sit it out, all right, and, and, and be lum and luminescent, all right, into the rest of the place, man. Be that light into the world, man. Be out here. Be that example. Get out here and shine. Be that example as the Lord Yahweh Shah was that example to us, man. All right. Be that example to the rest of our people. All right. Do that. Uh, uh, show, show, show how to walk that walk that the Lord Yahweh Shah walked to the best of our ability. Verse 6, 16. It says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. Come on. So let your light shine before men that they may see your good works, man. That they may see the uh uh the, uh, the route that we have to uh uh go down to the uh uh do do the works of the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah man. I can skip down right quick. Verse, uh -huh. verse 19. It says, 
Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the in the kingdom of heaven. Right, because you're gonna you're gonna be least, meaning you're gonna be one of the last ones to come in. You got people that get into the kingdom first, the first fruits, and you're gonna be the last one to show up. Yeah, right. man, where you been? <laughs> right, yeah, it's gonna get uh burned up on this side and show up later in the kingdom. <laughs> It says, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be great. No, Shalaki. Like the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Right. So in the kingdom of heaven, you'll be called the first fruits, the memorial stone, the great ones. Right. All right. The founding fathers. He said, I'll make you a pillar in my father's house, man. Right. Yep. First shall be last, last shall be first. God. So that's what ultimately we want, man, to be uh, 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 be called greatest, great in the kingdom of heaven, man, by... Uh, being obedient what the Heavenly Father told us to do, man. That's what we ultimately want. We want to be great, man. All right? That's why each and every brother that's out here that's doing lessons, we strive to be the best teacher that we can be, man, or the best brother that we can be, or best helper. Best um, servant. Servant. <laughs> there we go. That's it. You because be a servant of your home, but you know, what's the meaning of the word woman? Servant. And we are, what, uh, liken unto a delicate woman, unto a delicate and comely woman, unto your Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. So we are the Lord's servants, man. Right. All right, we belong unto that's that go back to the order. Men, men that's in the truth, we belong to the Lord, man. So we are always gonna put the Lord first before anything, man. And so once you understand that you're a servant and that the man is a servant to your house shot, you ain't gonna make certain choices in your life. You're not gonna be so prideful, you're gonna do things his way. You, you know, you're not gonna be a striker, you're not you know, trying to fight your brothers, or you know, all this dumb shit, man. All right, you gonna understand the service of the Lord, what you're supposed to do. Try it. Right. You're gonna understand, you're gonna understand that your house is not here right now. Who else is gonna speak for him? So, uh, oh, yeah, just do it. Right up, uh, All right, so with that, man, um, hey, man, we just pray and hope that this lesson was very edifying. All right, it served its purpose. It reached to who it needed to reach to and to edify and also to tear down the, 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 the BS that's out there. So once again, we want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit of Truth in the Hebrew tongue. Once again, call, call, halayim, halayim, la, la, yahawah, yahawah, ba'ashem, ba'ashem, yahawah shai, yahawah shai, ba'ashem, ba'ashem, rukah, rukah, kodash, kodash, ma'amah, ma'amah. All right, and we also want to give, once again, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, once again, all right, that rule well and taught us this truth, and, and, and uh, uh, salutations and blessings unto the whole four elect that's out there laboring in this truth, and the few off walking the women, also the children, that believe on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right. You can't just say you believe. You got to live it. You got to show it. Con. You too, the women and the children. Con. You can't just say you believe. You got to live. You got to play your part too. Con. Be not uh, ye heroes, but doers also. Con. Yeah. So, Con. Right. Man works. Faith man works. Con. Because we, we have to live up to, to that standard with our faith and our works. So that also goes for the women and children as well, man. Okay. Um. Hey, man. I pretty much it. Yeah, it's a so with that, we want to say shalom, man. Shalom. Oh, you want to close it up? Make sure it close up. Right now.